Hello everybody. We are starting a new mod today and that Warhammer 40k mod for XCOM. We're also doing the sub mod of Rosigma, which apparently adds an absolute ton of stuff to the 40k mod from the 40k universe, 40k. So 40k, I don't know much of 40k about this game, but we're going to see today. And as chat has voted, we're going to be doing the Imperial Guard. On Iron Man, of course. And, uh, yeah. So this should be an interesting experience. I have no idea anything of the 40k universe. Well, not anything. Minor bits here and there, but no real knowledge. So this will be a whole new experience for me. So let us... Let us get started. All right. Okay, so the planet is different, I've noticed. It's all kind of together here, which is neat. Um... Hmm. All right, uh, let's go in. We got the Norma Sector, Eridana Sector. Uh, Ungevin Sector, Praetoria Sector, oh, big symbol. Dominica Sector, Taurus Sector, a bunch of sectors, Baca, Jishul, Ferud, Regalindus, Macraga Sector, Orion Sector, Z Zeta Sector. What is this? Should I start here? Is this like the Emperor over here? It's the Aquila. It's the logo of the Imperium. Ah, oh, okay. Well, it's like the biggest piece of ground without desert. Um, I guess it makes sense to start over here. Uh... All right. I guess we'll start on the uh, the, the tail here. What's up, Coveers? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little too uncomfortable to stream, to be honest. Alright, Warhammer, our first base. Um, let's see, what shall we, what shall we name it? The Toad Hammer? It's not bad, it's not bad. We can call it, uh... It's really, really over. Yes, it is. Go Bears. Cadia stands. Meat grinder. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an interesting playthrough. Uh, the first free runner. Um. Is it a meat grinder? Uh, we are the Imperial. Uh, peoples. That is what chat. Seem to be leaning towards, so that is where we are. Imperial Guard, yes, East. East, 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 East. Manpower Factory, Imperial Toad. Um, I think we're gonna go with. Gladina. Been through making the enemies run out of bullets. <laughs> Oh no, dude. <laughs> oh no, we have station. Um. Bullet Sponge Mo. <laughs> there we go. These names are great. I love them. Since we just stack our casualties into barricades. <laughs> Target! Oh my god. Um, 
This all food in the Imperium is something called corpse starch. That's it. There's the name. Alright. Um. So, yes, I am going to design this like a uh, typical XCOM base. I don't know better at the moment, so. There we go. Uh, I made a saved game yesterday for all of a day to check it out. I'm going to save over this now, and, um. It is, it is a 40k Imperial Guard Iron Man. Imperial Guard selected. There's corpse starch in my food. Mausoleum, that's a good one too. Oh man. Y'all are full of good ideas. Alright, so we're the Imperial Guard. We got a cool bird, uh, this icon. And these people. Alright. So research. Let's check it right away. The Emperor protects beginner mode option. Oh! It actually gives you a beginner's mode thing to do. Huh. Uh, guardsman strategy. Need special unlock. Guardsman mid-tier requisitions. Unlocks motion scanner. Weapons requisition. Smoke grenade. Seems like some pretty good stuff. Ogren requ requisition. A scion strategy. Scion mid-tier requisitions. Motion scanner. Uh, Abhuman strategy. A radical recruitment. Penal Legionnaire, Unsanctioned Psyker, Traitor Guardsman, Traitor Heavy Guardsman, Traitor Scout. <laughs> okay, so are these just different strategies to go by? Like, right away? I better check out the, uh... The Codex first. Okay, strategy overview. This section of the Codex displays and details all strategies our forces can follow. Once one is chosen, our efforts will be focused on the goal of that specific strategy, and the others will not be available. Oh, okay. Okay, so it is a one-and-done kind of thing. Imperial Guard selected. Tactical strategy. Being prepared for all situations is a key factor in the campaign. Our units will have well-balanced gear suitable for all situations. Strike with all our might so we can leave the enemy without response. Main focus on melee combat weapons and high mobility armor for direct assault. That's the assault strategy. Devastator strategy. Heavy support platforms and heavy weapons provide the main focus. Use all the firepower we can muster, even at the cost of mobility. If you take the Asilia, <laughs> nice. These are trained to be almost Stormtrooper quality. Ab human strategy is cat girls. <laughs> there will be explosions. Uh, scout strategy. Detecting the enemy and performing surgical strikes are our main priorities. Focus on training new units and leaving them ready to engage in high-risk operations from the beginning of the campaign. Primaris strategy. The Primaris Space Marines are a new breed of transhuman warriors developed across the span of 10,000 standard years by Archmago Archmad... Archmagus Dominus Belisarius Call. Requires manual promotion. Sisters of Battle. Strike with specialized elite units. Adeptus Sor uh, Sororitus have fanatical devotion and unwavering spiritual purity that gives them divine armor. To unlock the requisition of these holy instruments in the field, secure adamantium and prometheum supplies, capture enemy leaders, and research advanced equipment. Establish your reputation by bringing back the corpses of the enemies to earn honor badges. Once the mid-tier is reached, establish a libra librarium facility. Yes, our dub. For sure. Actually, <laughs> because LOL. Imperial Guard. Achieve superiority in numbers. Overwhelm the opponent with the size of your forces. Undertake the training and specialization of the Imperial Guard's finest soldiers. 
Arbites. Uh, or Arbitus. Uh, field the Imperium's finest in enforcing the rule of law. Use the Adeptus Arbitus's access to specialized equipment and penal legion soldiers to apprehend those attempting to throw the planet into chaos. Grey Knights. The Grey Knights are a secret and mysterious chapter of Space Marines specifically tasked with combating the dangerous demonic entities of the warp and all those who wield the corrupt power of the Chaos Gods. Requires many promotion. Death Watch. The Death Watch is a unique chapter of the Adeptus Astartes comprised solely of veteran Space Marines that serves the Ordo, Xenos, and the Imperial Inquisition and its Chamber Militant. Hey Shinji. I'm keep adding y'all to the list as we go on. Recruits are, lim are limited per month. Weapons overview. This section of the codex contains a list of the various types of weaponry used by the Imperium. New weapons will appear as they become available. Proper logistical assignments of weapons t uh, to the right squad is essential. No more pirates now. Access to Imperial Assassins, and if they do, oh boy. You know about the Grey Knights? Now you have to be executed. <laughs> that is an in lore reality. Only chapter masters and certain inquisitors are allowed to know they even exist. Damn. Where's the Grey? Oh, wow. Secret and Mysterious chapter. The Multi Laser. The Multilis is an Imperial mainstay heavy weapon mounted on all kinds of vehicles. It can also be hand carried with a separate battery pack, the heavy weight being the main drawback. It's got an auto shot at 12. The Light Bolt Pistol Ultra Pattern. This sound, this looks sorry Warhammer to me. A Bolt Pistol is a smaller version of the Bolter. Powerful and utili uh, utilitarian sidearms, Bolt Pistols have seen service within many of the Imperium's military forces since its inception in the 30th millennium. It has two standards and a high explosive. I don't know what that means. Oh, a different kind of ammo, okay. Please use the Z for the lays. <laughs> bolt pistol Saris pattern. A bolt pistol is a small version of... Oh, it says the same thing. The recoil is much higher on this one. And the accuracy is much less. But it's slightly more powerful. The ultra pattern. That must be like the upgrade of them all. And then now this one, the Spectrus pattern, has a scope on it, so you can actually aim it. Tigris pattern. Are these, like, add-ons? Because it's, like, adding to it. Because that puts a scope. That puts the front on. Interesting. They have different effects, so they are variants. Ah. Gyro jets. All right, light bolter ultra pattern. The bolter, also called a bolt gun, is, and its variants are some of the most powerful handheld ballistic anti-personnel weaponry in use by the military forces of the Imperium of Man. 25 recoil, 3 snap, pretty good accuracy. Yeah. The bolter godwin pattern, bolter artifacts pattern, bolter ultra pattern, bolter soccer pattern, and Bolter Call Pattern. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of these through. So. Oh, a Hand Flamer. Hand Flamers, also known as Burters, are a compact one-handed version of the standard Flamer. To limit the weight, it has a smaller fuel tank, lower range, and output. Nonetheless, it offers tactical flexibility and is useful for room clearing, leaving one hand free for a bolt pistol or melee weapon. One-hand Flamers, you say? Well, that, well, hand flamer. There is also the flamer. Flamers, also known as flame guns, come in a wide variety of designs and patterns, but all are ideal for flushing out enemies in cover and putting groups of foes to the torch with protected, uh, projected flame. It's got so much incendiary, it's got it twice. Chemical and promethium fuel. Nice, okay. That's our, whoa. All right, what's that up there? Let me look at this real quick. Only referred to as the Bolter is the standard weapon of the Adeptus Asteris and Adeptus or a Sororitus, a 75 caliber weapon. After firing a relatively small explosive, initial ballistic charge launches the bolt in the same way as with an auto gun, after which the explosive, commonly called a bolt, is self repelled. Part of everything is supposed to be modular as they don't research things, just build bigger versions. That makes sense, okay. I wonder how research works here because most research is considered heresy. 
Almost all the tech Imperium has is recovered through lost data storages. The shotgun. The shotgun is an ancient imperial weapon firing solid slugs that burst into submunitions to spread out over a wider area. However, the spread of the projectiles limits its effectiveness against tougher opponents at long ranges. It's a shotgun. You love a good shotgun. Automatic shotgun. The hive hammer automatic shotgun is a deadly close quarters weapon which is sometimes considered a smaller relative of the ripper gun. It fires standard shotgun ammunition from an 8 round box mag or a 32 round drum mag. Its enormous recoil and poor range prevent it from seeing wider deployment. Yeah, it does have recoil but 40 times 6. Stubber. The term stubber or stub gun refers to any number of traditional solid slug firearms with low velocity, high caliber rounds. The ruggedness, simplicity, and abundance all over the world of the Imperium make up for their relative inaccuracy and low power compared to contemporary small arms. Cheap to use, cheap to fire. Well, 42 is still pretty good. Stub rifle. Stub rifle is the generic term for traditional solid slug long arms, typically used as hunting rifles across the many worlds of the Imperium. Relatively inexpensive and easy to use, they find their way into the hands of marksmen of military outfits and capable of procuring contemporary sniper weapons. Watch your PC burst into flame. Auto pistol. An auto pistol is a handheld fully automatic weapon that fires solid slug ballistic rounds at the intended target in rapid succession. Small enough to be held and controlled in a single hand, these weapons are the favorite sidearm of many a warrior in the Imperium of Man. Oh, nice autos and snapshots on that one. Escher Laz, uh, Lays Gun. House Escher produces countless laser guns for the Departamento Munitorum. Local designs are intended for internal use of off-world sale or off-world sale. The elegant appearance and high quality of these weapons make them attractive hunting and sharpshooting weapons for wealthier individuals or organizations without access to full power long lays. Escher laser gun. All right. Mhm mm mhm mm RZ for all that lays. Yeah. Well, it's not a lace gun. It's a lays gun. It's a laser, right? <laughs> or is it Laz? Well, you keep saying it over and over. I don't know. You say, I don't. Is it Laz? Okay, Laz gun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't sure which way I was saying it wrong. All right, Escher Laz gun. All right, I thought it was a laser. Laz, Laz gun. The auto gun. An auto gun is a fully automatic weapon that fires solid slug ballistic rounds at the intended target in rapid succession. Cheap, rugged, and reliable, it can be found throughout the Imperium where it is appreciated for its decent damage and accuracy. Oh, they call it a lazy gun? F auto gun. Or a lazy gun. <laughs> you keep putting you keep putting it. I don't know what it says. A round of light. Yeah, so it's a laser gun. <laughs> heavy stubber. The heavy stubber is a heavy barreled, fully automatic weapon used for sustained fire, ideal for fighting off large numbers of infantry or even lightly armored vehicles. It makes up for a lack of power and armor piercing abilities with an impressive rate of fire. 25 is an impressive rate of fire. Yeah, I'd say that. Mm mm. To have to butcher pronunciation of every word. <laughs> the the last gun. Heavy stubber handheld. The handheld variant of the heavy stubber by replacing parts of the widely uh, used pattern with lighter components. 
The lighter pattern can provide a high volume of fire whilst being a handheld weapon with great mobility. This pattern is not as powerful as the standard variant, but will still perform well on the battlefield. It's got a times 10 still and a times 4. Uh, Lucius Heavy Stubber. The Lucius Pattern Heavy Stubborn of Craig uses heavy armor piercing 14.5 millimeter caliber rounds meant to penetrate carapace and even power armor. This Heavy Stubber is close to bolter and auto cannon caliber. Damn. It's got a bad recoil though. Guard Laz Pistol. The Laz Pistol is used most often by officers or commissars of the Imperial Guard in conjunction with a close combat weapon, being specifically intended to allow the user to fire one-handed and wield a melee weapon in the other hand. Guard Laz Gun The Laz Gun is the favored weapon of Imperial Guard. It is a solid and rugged weapon that remains reliable and precise in almost any environment. High quality las gun. You can tell because the picture has color in it. The las guns have that meet the highest quality and calibration standards of the manufactur uh, manufacturum are designated for veteran elite regiments. They are well enough constructed to make use of hotshot power cells. All right. Onion <laughs> Krieg, like in Blitzkrieg. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right, where was that even at? Oh, stubborn of Krieg, right? <laughs> uh, okay. What the heck? A Saturn pattern las gun? Bullpup carbine optimized for airborne operations boasts greater accuracy in handling than typical carbines. Is it a Saturn? Akatron? Really? Almost no one makes black and white movies or TV shows anymore. It's true. Voss Pattern Las Gun features a collapsible stock that allows it to be carried in place of a Las Pistol, making it favored by vehicle crews. Uh, Vastroya Pattern Las Gun. Handcrafted Las Gun with an extended barrel and enhanced optics capable of long range methodical fire. Nice. Lucius Pattern Las Gun. The Las Gun is, is the favored weapon of Imperial Guard. It is a solid and rugged weapon that remains reliable and precise in almost any environment. Abilities. Power Shot. Increases power by 20 for 4 times the ammo cost. Oh, wow. Neat. Grenade Launcher. The Grenade Launcher serves the role of a launcher weapon that can be used and carried by a single on augmented human. They are fired in arcing shots designed to clear obstructions and strike farther into an enemy formation as well as simply being fired directly at foes. The common Voss Grenade Launcher holds a magazine of six grenades. It's less than the time it takes to reach low, yeah. Absolutely. Sniper Rifle. A sniper rifle is a high-powered and highly accurate projectile or directed energy weapon that is used to attack distant foes and lightly armored targets at extreme ranges with unerring accuracy, capable of firing powerful shots with lethal precision. Love a sniper. A Stardust MK... A Stardust Mark IV Heavy Bolter. A heavy bolter is a powerful bolt weapon that is used for anti-infantry and fire support roles. Unlike the bolt gun, it is relatively common in both Imperial Guard armies and Space Marine chapters. Alright. Uh, looks neat. Godwin Pattern Heavy Bolter. The Godwin Pattern Heavy Bolter is a variant commonly used by the Astra Militarum uh, for anti-infantry fire support. A bipod is deployed when kneeling to increase the stability and range while firing. <laughs> I take it over the planet. Missile launcher. A missile launcher fires self-propelled guided projectiles that usually contain explosive, chemical, or destructive energy warheads. Missiles may use a chemical rocket, jet engine, or something more esoteric, such as an anti-gravity drive for propulsion. Interesting. Medium missile launcher. The standard uh, Cadian pattern missile launcher is widely used by the guard. Lightweight enough to be handled by a single guardsman, it can fire a variety of unguided missiles. Uh, Ektron 
missile or Akatran missile launcher. The Akatran Mark II pattern missile launcher is a shortened and lighter version of the standard guard missile launcher to enable grave drop due to grav drop operations and ease of mobility. The chain sword. This is what I remember. The chain sword is the preferred close combat melee weapon of many of the military forces of the Imperium of Man. The chain sword is essentially a sword with powered teeth that run along a single edged blade like that of a chainsaw. Yeah. The eviscerator. The eviscerator is a massive version of the more common chain sword, capable of inflicting brutal wounds, cap uh, brutal wounds on the emperor's foes and even shredding through hardened armor. The size of the weapon requires two-handed wielding by a strong warrior to be effective on the battlefield. So it's like the broadsword version. Lots of equipment to straight up root. Yeah. Chain weapon. Power Fist! A Power Fist is essentially an oversized armored gauntlet that generates an energy field around it, one that is capable of violently disrupting any solid matter it touches. Power Knuckles. The Power Knuckle, also known as a jaw snapper knuckle duster, is an unconventional but remarkably simple power weapon built around a set of brass knuckles. The power Pack, typically worn on the wrist, charges an energy field which violently disrupts anything between the user's fist and the target's face. Probably a cheaper version of that. Shock Maul. A Shock Maul is a type of truncheon or club used by riot teams in the Adeptus Arbitus. On contact, it activates an electrical charge to magnify the force of the blow. Many have power settings, with low power being used as a non lethal stunning weapon. <laughs> when in doubt, just hit harder. Combat Knife. A Combat Knife is the ubiquitous backup melee weapon for warriors all across the Imperium of Man, be they lowly hive city scum or the elite soldiers of a planetary governor. Officer's Chain Sword. A symbol of their exemplary service to the Imperium, an officer's sword represents the iron will of the one wielding it. Those with great courage and influence can inspire their troops to perform great acts of heroism. It's beautiful. Frag Grenade. Frag Grenades are very simple in design and effect, consisting of a central explosive core with a fuse inserted wrapped by iron and ceramic bands, further covered by a sheathing. Upon detonation, irregular chunks of the casing and bands are propelled at high velocity into the nearby surrounding area. Crack Grenade. Crack Grenades use a shaped explosive charge capable of punching holes in armored targets such as vehicles or bunkers, and its charge can even rip armor plating apart. However, the focus detonation lacks a blast radius, therefore making them impractical for use against enemy infantry. So that's an anti-tank grenade, anti-infantry grenade, smoke grenade. Smoke grenades are useful for providing cover in exposed combat situations just with care because they can benefit the enemy as well. Proximity Grenade. A proximity Grenade can be thrown like an ordinary grenade, but is triggered by nearby movement after it lands. Great skill and care is required to use these devices properly. Melt-a-bomb. The Melt-a-bomb is used by infantry in close combat and is clamped directly onto vehicle hulls or the surface of enemy bunkers or even onto monstrous creatures such as the largest Tyranid bioforms. Yep, Tyranid. Okay, so you just gotta, like, put this onto some Electro Flare. This compact device produces a bright flare light when it is thrown. This will highlight enemy units in the vicinity of the Electro Flare during nighttime missions. Have a Weapon Toolkit. This toolkit supports troops wielding heavy weapons with bipods. By attacking a kneeling heavy weapons user, the toolkit finishes deploying the heavy weapon on the same turn, restoring the accuracy of that heavy weapon. Further, when applied to a heavy weapon user that has stood up and undeployed on the same turn, it restores their energy, allowing them to move. Note that sufficiently strong users do not benefit from deployment. Interesting. Yeah, I remember tier is. That's one thing I do remember. Pump action shotgun. Oh, right, it's pump action shotgun. Liberator auto stubber. 
Craft Overview. Imperial craft are generally designed to operate in both atmospheric and space combat roles. The Valkyrie. Valkyrie is a vertical takeoff and landing or a VTOL airborne assault carrier used primarily by the Astra Militarum as both a ground support gunship and a transport for airborne combat regiments. So they're looking at the uh, Astra Militarum. It's got uh, 16 space. It's a lot of people. The Lightning. The Lightning is an air superiority fighter and ground attack craft used by the Imperial Navy for the purposes of quickly engaging and assaulting enemy craft in order to establish air superiority. So we got planes, huh? 6,400 speed, 1,000 field, 3 weapon spots. Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt is a heavy fighter and a mainstay of the Imperial Navy. Rugged, well-armed, and well-armored. It is a versatile craft proving capable in the roles of air superiority, high altitude escort, and ground attack. So it's got less speed than that, less acceleration, more fuel capacity, and much more damage capacity. Okay. Crack missiles. Crack missiles follow the movement of the target craft and deliver a conventional explosive warhead. 70 damage. Plasma weapons. 120 damage for the plasma weapons in that slot. I assume it's... Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, so this is for this weapon on this thing, alright. You could have crack missiles, plasma missiles, which are better, but they're more expensive. Twin heavy bolter, multiple convention bolters that fire armor-piercing rounds with high velocity. A major drawback is the short range. 20 damage, range 30 kilometers, uh, not even that much shorter. Craft Multilaser. The Multilaser is a rapid fire heavy weapon ideal for destroying lightly armored vehicles, providing a basic anti air screen. Due to its power requirements and weight, it can only be mounted on ground based vehicles. There's so many options, and all of them bad, yeah. Uh, Multilaser 25 damage. Alright. Uh, mechanicus and Support Overview. The section of the codex contains information. The Auxiliary Support Units for the Imperium. Support Servitor. A servitor is a mindless cybernetic drone created from a fusion of human flesh and robotic technology used to carry out simple manual tasks. Support servitors can use their servo arm to repair allied units in combat. Okay. Their weapon is the servo arm. Tarantula Hyperios. The Tarantula Sentry is used in a variety of roles, such as covering approaches to key positions, conducting watch over perimeter defenses against surprise attacks, and defending landing sites and extraction routes. Good armor in the front. And under. Not so much in the back. Interesting. Tarantula Sentry. The Tarantula Sentry is used in a variety of roles, such as covering approaches to key positions, conducting watch over perimeter defenses against surprise attacks, and defending landing sites and extraction rounds. Fraterus Armor. The Adeptus Fraterus uh, Militia are equipped far better than the greater masses of the armed Imperial car cult, afforded basic flak jackets, they can even survive the glory of being first into a trap or to dive on a grenade. That's actual miniatures, I think. Saving Sisters Holy Power Armor from Blemishes. <laughs> Sometimes you're poor. Veteran Frederus Militia. The Adeptus Frederus Militia are equipped... Uh, same thing. Okay. The veterans are just better armored and obviously better overall. Medicaid armor. Novice Medicaid armor is used for the training of potential order hospitaller sisters. Like other novice pattern armors, the Medicaid is simplified and made to emulate the feel and use of sisters' combat armor. With added protective Padding, plating, and weighted down by medical equipment, it sacrifices many of the combat functions of other power armor types and is in many ways clumsier than more advanced hospital hospitaller armor. Sisterhood Novice. Adapted from practice wear with simulated weight and functions, novice habit armor offers similar protection to basic carapace armor. Novice habit, codex armor detail. 
Oh wow, it adds tons of good stuff to you though. Not good against acid or melee. Eh? Uh, Cantus Novice. A Cantus Novice may be requisitioned a Cantus Pattern Light Power Armor primarily for training purposes and acclimation. Oh, wait. Acclimatization to power armor wear. Simplified but comparable in protection to the best of Stormtrooper Carapace, it is a simplified suit stripped of unnecessary functions and advanced overrides. And this gives you. I get a lot of pluses. Uh, good front armor. Sides not good under or rear whatever whatsoever. I should say Medicaid armor negative 30 reactions 20 firing and 5 melee Definitely interesting bloody rose armor So they had a bunch of stuff depending on your armors in this and this seems to be a much better heavier front armor Adeptus pilot suit uh, time units reaction and firing accuracy, that would make perfect sense. Adeptus Pilot. The Adeptus Pilot suit is worn by the Specialist Sister Pilots for use in cockpits that cannot fit a full power armor. Adeptus Elohim. Uh, Elohim. Elohim. A newer sor uh, Sororitas pattern armor from the Forges of Mars awarded for militant sisters that reach... Elohim rank. It offers superior protection and integrated support systems. Oh jeez, yeah, that's that is kind of really nice, isn't it? <laughs> Retributor pattern armor. These seem like really good armors. Negative melee, but uh, it's probably not something you'd want with melee. Adeptus Retributor, a heavier Sororitas power armor. The Retributor. Retributor. Uh, pattern was developed with the Astartus Devastator specifications in mind. With improved muscle fibers and servos, ret uh, Retributor armor can operate heavy weapons. Repentious Superior armor. Holy moly. That is 25 time units. Holy moly. Oh, detail people put it. Yeah, exactly. That's true. The lore detail pulled from so many books. Novitiate, uh, superior armor as well. Sister superior. As field officers, sister superiors are given customized armor with ornate markings and well reinforced protection to match their higher priority as targets. Afforded a more advanced suit of sensors, uh, come and support. Wait. Is that supposed to be command support? And M. Command support functions compared to the standard Sororitas pattern. Power armor, they are well equipped to lead and coordinate a squad into battle. Sister superior armor, it's amazing. Death Cult Assassin, the advanced devout pattern assassin bodysuit has been developed on order by the Ecle Good lord. The Ecclesiarchy and Inquisition, integrating secret digital technology and using the best of available micro-construction techniques to give significant armor protection and integrated stealth enhancement at no cost of mobility or agility. Meant for Ecclesiarchy... Uh, oh my god. Ecclesiarchial and Inquisitorial Assassin Cadres only, its exterior mimic the look of more common death cult garb to hide its advanced capabilities. Plus 40 melee accuracy. 60 time units and stamina. That's what I'm talking about. Assassin bodysuit. Yeah. Armor overview. Welcome to the Imperial Armory Force, Commander. Here you can study armors as they become available. Pay attention to strength requirements for specific armor and stat-altering features. Units with no armor will be assigned a standard outfit, such as a Marine Scout gear or a Guardsman's flak armor. <laughs> Penal clothing. Criminals in the Imperial Society may be sentenced to military life service. These members of the Penal Legion are considered expendable, and no member of the Imperial Guard will flinch if the <laughs> penitents perish in battle. They also wear an explosive collar, which can be triggered at any time. Good lord. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Flak Armor, the basic armor worn by all soldiers of the Imperial Guard. Flak Armor provides protection from low velocity or indirect projectiles, but pretty much any other armor is highly preferable. Flak Armor is usually made from synthetic fibers or lightweight thread alloys. Yeah, not, not your best piece of armor, huh? Flak Medic. Oh, it's 12. <coughs> Do, 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 do. That means I have to take my medicine, everybody. Do that first. <laughs> Armor is about right, yeah. Ah. <sighs> Equipped with a medic kit and advanced diagnostic gear, guardsmen wearing this armor are responsible for frontline medical care for the Imperial Guard. Sentinel Multi Laser, or is that Lazar? The Sentinel is a one man, all terrain bipedal vehicle deploying firepower at environments that would immobilize heavier vehicles marching alongside the Imperial Guard. They are effective scouts and fire support platforms. Weapon Multi Laser. They're weak against lasers and melta. Mounted Heavy Bolter. The Heavy Bolter is a formidable weapon and makes an effective defensive emplacement when attached to the wheel mount. Lots and lots of front armor, of course, and no back armor. Um, laser beams and melta again. Commissar's Great Coat. Commissars are tasked with the duty to maintain the morale of the troops during their massive campaign, often in the face of staggering casualties. <laughs> the Commissar is empowered to use any means necessary to ensure the loyalty and morale purity of his or her charges. Alright. Tauros Heavy Stubber. The Tauros is a lightweight multi-purpose vehicle capable of being airdropped from a standard Valkyrie using magnetic clamps. Rather than using multi-fuel engines, the Tauros is equipped with a galvanic drive unit and can fit a number of weapons. This is like the best armored all-around vehicle I've seen so far. <laughs> no, the rest of them! By one of these on the battlefield! Ammunition overview. The tech priests of the Adeptus a Mechanicus and the skilled artificers uh, artif yeah, artificers of the Adeptus Astartus have developed many types of ammunition over the millennia for the different branches of the Imperial military. The most common variant are described in this section. Standard bolts. Bolt ammo damage details. Armor damage 5%. Ignores armor 10%. Stun damage 50%. Special Bolts. Metal Storm Frag Bolts are best used against multiple lightly armored targets. They detonate before impact and spray shrapnel in a small radius. Kraken Penetrator Bolts are powerful armor-piercing rounds. The dense metallic core is replaced by a solid adamantium core and uses a heavier main charge. It ignores 50% of armor but does not damage it before piercing. Interesting. Double barreled bolters. Double barreled bolter damage details. Negative 20% ar or 20% to armor and it ignores 10% armor. What's up? I will be back. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. <laughs> it, it, uh, power cell. We are guardsmen now. What's up, Lord Emperor? Laser weapon power cell damage details. Armor damage 20%, health damage 100%, zero stun. Armor damage after piercing, zero. Uh, Frateris Militia. Barred from keeping men under arms by the decree passive, the Ecle Ecclesiarchy it instead relies on the Adeptus Soror Sororitas and a large militia force known as the Frateris Militia. But the Frateris Militia lacks in blessed armor and weapons of the Imperial Guard. They make up for in fervor and faith. The militia members deployed by the Adeptus Sororitas are hand-picked from the masses of the Imperial Cult Militia, usually uh, those with few with military experience and of suitable disposition. Driven by selfless fanaticism, they can often remain fighting even when guardsmen would not. <laughs> you you laugh at these pronunciations, Roush. Like, what the fuck is this in English? 
Like, you act like this is such an easy word to understand. <laughs> like, I'm trying here. Osiris, if you are bulletproof and free from fear, saying your armor won't protect you as a blamming guardsman. Did I get your pippy on here yet? I didn't. Get your pippy on here. I'm not saying it's not a real term. I'm just saying, do you use this in everyday life, or would you see this anywhere else other than, like, this mod in these days? There are so many words throughout history believe it or not and it's hard to pronounce some of them even if you speak the language if you're not used to them for tourist militia who have distinguished themselves and earned a veteran commendation may be promoted to lead units of militia often these individuals are former guardsmen which service to the ecclesiarchy have earned them uh, exemptions from ordinary service I'm not Catholic, believe it or not. Ecclesiarchy? Okay. That makes it a little easier. Thank you. Uh, uh, novice Origins. The lowest rank of the Adeptus Sororitas undergo an arduous regime of testing to identify their suitab uh, suitability to join the Sisterhood. If judged worthy, they undergo extensive military instructions and teachings of the sisterhood traditions. From an early age, they train with novice power armor and light training bolters. Over eager for martyrdom, novices are only called upon to defend their uh, convent under dire circumstances and always supervised by senior sisters. Cantus Origins. A novice that reaches the rank of... Uh, oh, it's Cantus, not Cantus. Why did I say Cantus? Cantus have mastered the fundamentals of her duties and begun to learn the fundamental skills of all orders she may join. To learn, counsel, cure, and to kill, shaped into a multi-purpose tool for the Emperor's hand. Having proven herself disciplined and devoted, Cantus are given more supervised leeway to participate in live fire exercises and may be expected to carry out light combat duties. <clears throat> that's a depressing song. Oh, that's not depressing. You love it. <laughs> Plastic and paint over the past 20 years has been rough to foul, I'm sure. What's up, Bo Martin? Let's get you on that list. Yeah, I can't even imagine what the prices for these are today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Medicae Origins. Adeptus Sororitas Medicae are novices dedicated to joining the Order Hospitaller. It looks like taller. Hospitaller. However, all novices undergo a period of training as Medicae to learn the basics and be tested for suitability by the Specialist Order. In war zones and disaster areas, they serve as medics and nurses where even novices can be called in to serve near the front lines in times of crisis. Assisting more experienced sister, hospitaler, and surgery, treating the wounded, ending the suffering of the dying, and the lives of the cowardly. Adeptus Elum Origins. Adeptus that have seen many battles are granted the rank of Elum, a mark that they are willing to shed blood in the Emperor's service. Or Elum. These or hardened veterans are granted the finest quality and latest patterns of standard sister. Power armor meticulously cared for by the convent and blessed according to the dual prioress sanctioned rights. About 45, but now you 250 bucks? Jesus. It was like $20 when I got one back in the day. If that. I think I got the right. It was, it was, this is the tank where it has like teeth on the front of it. And. I think there's, like, a big cannon on top. It wasn't, like, the biggest vehicle. I don't remember it being that expensive. But, I mean, it has been, like, 30 years since that happened, so... Adeptus Retributor Origins. These warriors are the most level-headed, imperturbable... Uh, whoa. Imperturbable... In whoa. Imperturbable. That's a cool word. 
imperturbable and determined of all their kind. They are almost they are also amongst their order's finest sharpshooters. To this end, they are assigned the responsibility of providing targeted fire support for their advanced sisters. As such, they are typically armed with high heavy bolters, multi-meltas, or heavy flamers. They press forward in battle, serving as anti-armor and anti-fortification infantry. Okay. Sisters of Battle are in here, yeah. Hey, Slaves of Fear. Let's get you on the list. Yeah. Repentia Superior. Repentia Superior, is also known as a Repentia Mistress, are given the solemn task of guiding Repentia in their atonement. These veteran sisters act as overseers of the, the Repentia, dri uh, driving them forward in battle and watching for any signs of sin. Uh, Novitiate Superior. Experienced exemplary sororitas may be tasked with the role of Novitiate Superior to leading novices in training in battle. With responsibility for their charges, faith, discipline, and health, they undergo additional training. No, they undergo additional training. They serve as inspiration for how a battle sister should act in all matters and conditions. Sister Superior Origins. A Sister Superior is a non-commissioned officer who leads a single squad of battle sisters, the equivalent of a Space Marine Sergeant. The senior rank is held by battle sisters that have been nominated for the honor by their fellow sisters and appointed by their canonists, recognizing, uh, uh, recog yeah, recognizing those who possess the ability to lead. In this role, they are inspirational leaders acting in the forefront of the Adeptus Sororitas' work Demanding unflinching obedience to the rule of the sororitas and unwavering faith in their subordinates. Death Cult Assassin Origins. Outside the Officio Assassinorum's limited numbers, Imperial Death Cult Assassins fill the void in numbers. While the main assassin temples are more restrictive and have longer training times, Death Cult Assassins are free to recruit more broadly as long as their high martial skill and dedication requirements are met to promote death cult assassins a veteran adeptus sister is required yes lazy booking and yes i absolutely did i got you on the list also hello imperial assassin origins uh, the Officio Assassinorum train various types of assassins at their temples to further the goals and protect the security of the Imperium of Man. Orphans are selected from the Scola Pro, uh, Progenium based on their propensity for killing and training mercilessly. Bolt Pistol Scourge Pattern. Well, Pistol Mars Pattern Mark II Scourge is favored by the Adeptus Eben Chalice Order, equipped with a Sarisa type bayonet fixture, which allows for enhanced melee capability in the hands of a power armored Adeptus. Um. I. At this time, no. Uh. It's just too uncomfortable. For many reasons. I just did not. I did not enjoy it. A lot of the uncomfortable aspects of it over the fun aspects of it. <laughs> Bull pistol ser wait, have we already did these? Designed by it no. Wait, no. It we can't have. Bull pistol scourge pattern. Alright. Uh, designed by Adeptus specifications, the Seraphim patterned sub bolter is made with a Kimbo use in mind by flying assault troops that need it's both rapid automatic firepower and high ammo capacity at the expense of accuracy. Oh, that's neat. You just go in the sky and just... I wonder if there's a Kimbo bonus to this. Bolter Cantus Pattern. Light trainee bolter used by the novice ranks of the Adeptus Sororitas. This bolter pattern is lightweight, easy to use, and most importantly, cheap to produce in vast quantities. With less powerful and cheaper Cantus Pattern ammo developed for it, this is a good starting bolter. The Bolter Elohim Pattern. The Elohim Pattern Bolter is a Adeptus Sororitas request to design, filling the role of a battle rifle with enhanced accuracy range and armor piercing capabilities at the sacrifice of auto fire capabilities and weight. It is designed to defeat power armor. Oh, nice. Even though it has an auto shot. <laughs> Bolt Gun Jove. Or is that Hove? 
The Mark 12 Jove bolt gun is a compact, high-powered bolt gun designed for the Adeptus Sororitas. Several adjustments have been made by a Martian tech priest to make this .75 caliber bolt gun usable by the Adeptus. The Jove pattern has a niche version uh, versus enemies that uh, uh, that the lighter Ds cannot handle. Diaz, Diaz. Bolter Mephisto Pattern. The Mephisto Pattern Combi Bolter solves the problem of Sisters of Battle angst between wielding his holy implement, the Bolter, and cleansing heretics with holy fire by combining the two in one easy-to-use combi weapon. The Mephisto add-on Light Flamer doesn't quite match this dedicated counterpart, but it has its uses. Nice. So you just get a, a flame rifle, essentially. Bolter Hellspite Pattern. The Hellspite Pattern Combi Bolter is co-development of the Elohim bol uh, Pattern Bolter, filling the requirement of a mid-range bolter with additional firepower in the form of a 40mm underslung grenade launcher. Capable of launching Adeptus 40mm low recoil incendiary petinance and melt grenades. Wow, there's a lot of weapon choices for that one. Redeemer Shotgun. While the Adeptus prefer the Holy Implement of the Emperor's Will, that is the Bolter, the Redeemer Shotgun was developed to deliver redemption where Bolter rounds may be unsuitable. Used by Special Assault Units, certain Repentia units, and for riot control on... What was that now? Ecclesiar uh, Ecclesiarchy? Controlled Worlds. You learn something new every day. Um. Okay. Wait. Oh. May. Oh. Wow. It has a melee too. I love it. Oh God. I love it. Adeptus Autogun. The novice pattern autogun is a high-quality compact carbine, a fully automatic weapon with a high rate of fire for close quarters with minimal recoil. It is a reliable weapon to deal with cultists and other unarmored opponents, and the first ballistic weapon novices are trained with. It's kind of weak, but that's probably why it's training gun. Uh, the scope of autogun. The novitiate pattern autogun is a is an Adeptus variant of the Novice Autogun. Wow. Uh, scoped, this variant is used for marksmanship and range support by experienced novices and has a slower rate of fire for increased accuracy. Um, I, I, I don't mind these spelling errors or English errors. I'm always curious if I should actually point them out, though, uh, to, the, to the creators of the mod if they want to just fix that or they just don't really care. Like, I get it both. Is. They're just someone being proposed for the purpose of being a PETA. And to read Lord of the Rings or Dune. There certainly is a lot of that in those books too. Dune especially. Mark V Melt-A-Gun. The Mark V Necropattern Melt-A-Gun is the standard issue Melt-A-Gun in the Adeptus Arsenal. Similar to the, uh, what is that? A Sataran? A Sataran Pattern? A Saturn pattern. This variant is designed with assault in mind, sporting an in you see because this should be an and increased output and fire rate at expense of fuel consumption. Traditionally lacking in heavy anti-armor capabilities, the Adeptus requests the Necro variant to handle such threats. But this isn't my me because I assume most of these mods are made by people who don't speak English as a first language, so it really doesn't bother me at all. I just like to point these things out when I see them. Also. Due to my complete inability to focus for most of my life, I didn't really get a chance to read a lot of books because my attention span would not let me. Every time I've tried for years, I'll get like a ha I'll get a paragraph or two in, and then I'll be ten pages in and won't remember anything because my brain will just wander off the whole time. That's how my brain works, and that's probably why a lot of the reasons I have trouble. Uh, announcing a lot of these things. And I am trying. Jove is Jupiter. Harmony Beamer Melt-A-Gun. The Harmony Pattern Beamer type Melt-A-Gun is based on ancient designs meant to achieve a longer range Melt-A-Weapon using harmonic wavelengths to focus the Melt-A-Beam at distant targets. Requiring extensive recalibration after use, it is ill-suited for non-elite forces. The PD with no end in sight. 
Choir Project. The Choir Projector is a weapon developed by order of the Isil uh, My goodness. The Isiliarchy. Capable of projecting and amplifying the hymns of the sisters. It's capable of bypassing armor and stunning the target. Why does that just look like a pack of beer? <laughs> Ch uh, cherubim Grenade Launcher. The Cherubim Grenade Launcher was developed for combat in difficult vertical and urban terrain where direct fire may be difficult. Launching blessed grenades, the Adeptus may dispense with heresy in mass. Eh, probably. Arc Sniper Rifle. The Arc Sniper Rifle is a co-development of the Elohim Bolter expressing the dissenting view that the Sisterhood may require some range options. Naturally, it loads high explosive and infernal rounds. Six pack, six percent alcoholic volume. Retri uh, the Retributor Heavy Bolter. The Retributor version of the Godwin Pattern Heavy Bolter is manufactured on Mars by the Adeptus Mechanicus according to Sororitas specifications. Lighter than the Astartus Mark IV, the Retributor still offers excellent firepower. Out of curiosity, where are we? Uh, 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 mm, mm. Okay, so that's where we are. Uh, we, oh my, oh my good fucking god. This is gonna be a, uh... <laughs> this is gonna be a, uh... UFO AI all over again. I didn't realize there was this much in this codex. Um. Oh dear God. Wow. All right. Well, let me get a drink here. We're gonna have some reading to do. Oh yeah. Throne Missile Launcher. The Throne Pattern Missile Launcher was developed to fill the need for a portable saturation missile launcher capable of launching up to three Throne Micro Missiles in a single volley. It can quickly spread purging flames amongst the enemies of the Adeptus while keeping backwards compatibility. I like all the... So far from reading all this, I really enjoy the fact that all these weapons have so many different variations of firing. I think that's really neat. That's true, Dust. Or Last Runner. The loner our lifespan is. Uh, Faust Crack Rocket, the Faust Pattern. Well, the thing is, though, is I don't know any of this lore, so it's kind of good for me to read it all. <laughs> it may help a lot of other people who go or are with me on the we don't understand a damn thing about this. <laughs> Faust Crack Rocket. The Faust Pattern Crack Rocket is a disposable one-shot recoilless rocket launcher requested by the Adeptus to fill the non-expensive gap in anti-armor capability. Easy to use, its inaccuracy provides ample motivation for sisters to close the distance with enemy forces. Harborum Incendiary Rocket. The Harborum Pattern Disposable One-Shot Recoilless Rocket Launcher is a non-expensive way to enable any Adeptus sister to dispense cleansing fire against masses of enemies where a dedicated flamer unit may be unavailable or unsuitable. The, Ma uh, the Malthus Light Laz Cannon. The Malthus Pattern Light Laz Cannon was developed by specification of the Adeptus Sororitas calling for a lighter and more profitable Laz Cannon at the cost of firepower and range limitations. The focusing lens cannot easily focus closer than three tiles. Some lore I haven't known before at 40k nerd. Nice. This maybe comes from Black Library, yeah. Are part of the secret enemy plans. The Neural Whip. Neural Whips are psychoconductive shock weapons capable of lashing out and striking from a surprising distance. It is typically one-handed and made out of corded metal wires ending in a heavy impact weight. At low settings, they may be used to motivate workers, prisoners, or repentia, while at higher settings it is capable of stunning or even killing in a single strike as well as damaging armor. It has an auto shot too. <laughs> That's great. 
Anointed Halberd. The compact Anointed Halberd is the uh, secrescent weapon of choice used by Celestian Secrescents as a way to provide reach and melee and anti-armor capabilities. Interesting. Go oh, good more whips! Hey, Tolerin. I think whips as a weapon in these games would be really neat for, like, a distance thing. I like them as a stun weapon. Stormbolter Diaz. Okay, is that how that's pronounced? Diaz? The Stormbolter Diaz pattern is used by the forces of the East... Uh... Eastliarchy, and among the Adeptus Sororitas by Retributor and Dominion units, the synchronized twin bolters are capable of a high rate of fire in a compact, if heavy, package. It'd be super annoying, and the joke wouldn't be funny after the first time, but there's a there's part of me that actually wants a game like that, where everything is still advancing while you're reading low lore. That would actually be really funny if I came out of this and it was like, oh, you're gone. It's like, oh no, I guess I'll just restart again. Ecclesiarchy. 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 I'm trying to get into my head. This is a word I have never honestly seen, written, or heard that I can remember. So Ecclesiarchy is something I have learned today. Out of the lore, and it's now Warhammer 50k. Assault Cannon Galgalim Pattern. The Galgalim Pattern Assault Cannon was developed on Mars for use by Elite Adeptus, a Retributor, and Dominion units. Making use of a low-weight uh, adamantium alloy, lower caliber, low velocity, Galgalim rounds, and advanced recoil dampeners to make the design controllable for non-Terminator power armor. Hey, Sun Wes. Yeah, we did, and you're on it right now. We're going, we haven't done anything yet. We're just going through the uh, the incredible codex in this game. A phosphor grenade, a favorite grenade type of the Adeptus, releasing a cloud of uh, flesh-searing phosphorus. It is highly effective against unprotected targets. Designed to wound, inflict morale damage, and provide some smoke cover over a medium area. Phosphor grenades are multi-purpose and can be used to flush out enemies as well as provide cover for an assault. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> no time to read all the new lore. <laughs> Dominion Power Axe. The Dominion Power Axe is an Adeptus Sororitas sidearm melee weapon crafted from adamantium. When its power cell is activated, the axe head edge is covered by a power field capable of disrupting molecular bombs upon impact, giving sisters an anti-armor edge in melee. Its humming generator has been carefully tuned to match the battle hymns of the Ecclesi of the, e the Ecclesiarchy. Ha! I almost did. The Ecclesiarchy. That's not an easy word for me to say, man. God. Also, I do like learning how to pronounce things correctly. I don't want anybody to be upset. It's just, uh, at the same time, I don't know these words. And I'm trying my best. Do, 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 do. I I know you are furious right now. Actually, go beers. I can feel it. I, I I'm honestly the chat is a little bit on fire. I let you put that in chat. The Adeptus Zweihander or Two Hander. These two-handed heavy power swords of the Adeptus are only wielded by a few select champion sisters from each convent. Prized weapons and holy implements, these weapons are made in limited numbers for each order. While difficult and slow to wield, the impact can sunder even tank armor. Holy shit, that's a strong-ass sword. <laughs> 200 damage. By the Inquisition, if you pronounce it wrong. What's up, animal? I'm upset that you're upset. <laughs> Hey, Animal, welcome to the stream. I'm getting you on that list right now if you'd like to join in. Hi, Emperor's High Gothic Language! Chaos Ripper Gun. The Chaos Ripper Gun is a barrel drum fed automatic, should have two L's, high power shotgun. Alright. Neat. Chaos Heavy Stubber. Sure. Dirty Longless. Or Longless. 
This worn and rusty longlist is commonly found with deserter, heretic, and chaos scout snipers. Despite its profane state, it can still uh, operate fully, if not as accurately, and fire hot shot rounds at long distances. Yeah. Two L's. Because there's one L for me in there. Chaos Hellgun. The Chaos Hellgun is a more potent hot shot version of the Laz Gun. It is bulkier to handle the increased power cells and cooling requirements. Deductus Chromaticus. Chaos Volley Gun. The Chaos Volley Gun is a rapid fire boosted version of the Laz Gun. Chaos Light Beer. This old Phobos pattern design is in widespread use of cha by Chaos Forces, using a smaller .70 caliber compared to more modern bolters. Hey, what's up, Lord Volcar? It is. If you missed the first hour, there's you could have a lot to catch up on, too. <laughs> uh, heretical Light Beer. Same thing. Except the time unit cost is higher and has a better snap. Gleaming one. Oh god, there's the Tyranids, right? Uh, Zinch Gleaming Ones have a strange scintillating, uh, scintillating shell-like armor formed from warp energy and ephemeral or uh, ephemeral claws and talons that can phase through most forms of unwarded matter, twisting their victim with debased warp energy from varied appendages. They can discharge gouts of glimmering warp fire that mutate and corrupt as surely as they burn, melting through armor with ease. They have proven resistant to heat and energy-based weapons. Wow, the rear armor on that is actually incredibly good. But they are weak to high explosives, I guess standard and melee. <laughs> Malathon. <laughs> He's not for whatever. We are Imperial Guards. It's just we're going through the Codex. Midwife of Nurgle. The midwives of Nurgle wear rusting and rotting pieces of armor and clothing. Their very presence spread disease and their touch causes a rotting plague. Nurgling. Nurglings are lesser demons of Nurgle. Small and mischievous, they are some of the most numerous and among the most favored children of Nurgle. They grow from boils of greater Nurgle demons and can burst forth from any of this chosen as well as plague-ridden victims. The Nurgling talons often cause festering wounds. Oh boy. Rot Bearer. The Rot Bearers wear no armor, but they're tough in skin, fearless and unable to feel pain. They shamble forwards to hold any enemy of Nurgle in their embrace. Corrupted Sister Armor. Fallen Sisters wear standard Adeptus Power Armor, but weaken from their heretical attitude. <laughs> Not a cat cow, decidedly. Uh, this mod has about eight different versions of Chrysalids. Yeah, okay. That's what the Tyranids do, though, right? We're all going to die down here. Not that big a deal. It's a lot more painful with things like Space Marines. That's true. Cultist Aspiring Champion. Okay. Dark Disciple. Apparently the same thing. All right. Chaos Fanatic. Warped Thrall. Warped Thralls are offered only rudimentary gear and use whatever loot, uh, whatever looted or improvised equipment they can find. All right. Not much armor on these uh, units at all. Well, these ones, yes. This one. Chaos Mutant. Chaos Mutants are equipped with whatever their Chaos Masters can bother diverting. Used as fodder, the Mutants are often hardy opponents, already used to pain and driven into a frenzy into Imperial forces by their cultist leaders. Do, 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 do. All right. The Zangor, Zangor. Zangors wear light chaos armor made from pseudo metal of warp origin. They rely on sorceress wards and enchantments for added protection. For weapons, they like to wield ranged weapons, but will on occasion brandish swords or other melee implements. That was a melee weapon right there. Uh, Zangors are more than capable of formulating complex battle plans. 
communicating amongst their ranks through harsh trills and staccato clicks. Okay. <laughs> chaos Zealot. Zongors wear light chaos armor made from suit. Wait, what? Uh, well, I think that's a, mis a mess up, but that's a Chaos Zealot. Chaos Acolyte. Chaos Acolytes are often well equipped, having been funded by their cults and equipped with the best weapons they can secure. In battle, they provide advanced fire support to the greater masses and zealots of Zealots and Thralls, directing small squads and fire teams. Chaos Helot. Heal it. Hell it. Hell it. Hell, 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 hell. Chaos Helots steal, smuggle, and trade for Imperial equipment drawn from worker and other serfs. Helots can offer manufacture crude equipment themselves or carry out simple repairs. You can often manufacture. Oh, they're very weak armored. Chaos Acolyte. Oh, here's the Chaos Acolytes thing. All right. Chaos Witch. Chaos Witches often remain hidden in Imperial society, but during secret meetings and rituals, dress according to their coven. Mostly unarmored, yeah, mostly unarmored, they protect themselves through sorcerous incantations and symbols of protection sewn into their clothing. While mostly passing unnoticed through sorcerous or psyker means, they only adorn themselves with visible symbols of their coven when they dare profess their oaths to Zinch in open rebellion against Imperial authority. Interesting. Night Lords Marine. Night Lords Chaos Marines favor close range weapons appearing from the shadows to tear their enemies to pieces. Chaos Combat Servitor. Chaos Combat Servitors have been created to serve in battle. Tireless, tough, and heavily armed, they can provide a tough core of fearless shock troops where mere cultists would falter and fail. Their poor reactions, inhibitions to retreat, and limited mobility render them more easily dealt with in melee or by flanking. Night Lord's Leader. Night Lord's Chaos Marine leaders are well equipped, favoring close combat weaponry and lightning claws to rip into their unwary foes. Thrall Champion. Thrall Champions wear a bedecked attire and raiments of zinch, patterns with symbols of power and chaos. It's a very fabric threaded with silver and warp conductive materials. While some individuals wear some form of carapace armor as well, most protection is granted by these sorceress means. <laughs> Air big loses, but damn, that's bad. Uh, Night Lord Raptors. Night Lord's Raptors are equipped with Chaos Assault Jump Packs, armor adorned with grizzly trophies, and utilizing advanced systems to project images of death upon the surface. 65. Let's get you on that list. Zinch uh, Trader Guard. Zinch Trader Guard hoard a variety of exotic band and modified gear, including Xenotech. Their level of equipment is second to none in the Trader Forces. Trader Gunner as well. Trader Scout. Okay. Trader Veteran. Zinch Elite Forces are granted the use of the very best gear, Xenotech, Forbidden Arms, and Enchanted Warp Tainted Weapons. Yeah, these appears to be much tougher. The, this is Warhammer this time. We, we, we moved on from X-Pyra. It was just too... too much. Trader Commando. Nice. These are all traders, trader officers. Zinch trader officer can pick and choose as they please from the most forbidden of trader weapons, including bolt guns and plasma guns. Black Legionnaire. The Black Legion is equipped with some of the best chaos forged equipment, warp infused power armor, demon guided weaponry, and chaos tainted munitions. Heretic Sister. While still wearing their stolen uh, ecclesiarchal armor, her her heretic sisters lack of devotion can clearly be seen in the shoddy state of their equipment, grime, and filth reflect their faithless souls, and thus their armor fall into disrepair, herald of their damnation. Totally. Heretic sisters, good front armor, terrible under and rear armor. Fallen seraphim. Sister of Fae, filth, excuse me. 
Wearing rusty and filthy basic, Adeptus power armor is in a general state of disrepair. Sisters of Filth are surprisingly resilient to wounds and seemingly immune to pain. They do not die nor yield easily. Heretic Seraphim. Seraphim pattern power armor is lightweight, equipped with jump packs and armor adjusted for an airborne assault roll, projecting, or protecting the wearer from injuries as well as little angled shots. Hey, Gofu. Because they aren't all chaos worshippers, but will tolerate chaos until their ranks, within their ranks, as long as no one is made to be chaos against their will. <laughs> Oops, shoot. Add you to the list. Heretic Seraphim Origins. Heretic Seraphim are former elite airborne assault infantry of the Adeptus branded traitor and heretic. Taught to wield two weapons at once, primarily bolt pistols and hand flamers, but also grenades. Seraphim receive special training in hand-to-hand -hand combat, the use of jump packs and close quarter fighting techniques. Highly mobile, capable of striking from even above and use buildings for cover, these heretic Seraphim is a considerable threat. Heretic Canonists. Still wearing their stolen uh, ecclesiarchical armor, the Heretic Canonists' lack of devotion can clearly be seen in the state of disrepair and torn habit. They care not for the grime and filth that covers their once holy implements, a reflection of their faithlessness. Regardless of how they acquired their equipment of or this, its state, it still functions as an imperial power armor should. Damn, that's a fucking sweet at holy moly, that's a hard unit to deal with. Uh, Kornangor. The Kornangor wear captured plates of carapace and body armor assembled by chaos cultists and slaves. While rudimentary, it is layered to maximize frontal protection for these shock troops. It looks a bit like a Krampus. Korngor. Wait. Oh, Kornungor and Korngor. There are two different ones. Kornungor and Korngor. Korn unbloodied. Korn... Repentant. Corn on bloodied ranks are made up of fresh sister recruits. As such, they bring their equipment with them, including sisterhood standard issue power armor and bolters. Okay. Corn repentant. The corrupted garb of former sister Repentia mixed with depraved chaos cultist symbols, marks, and barbs. Like, no armor, of course. They probably run into battle like a fool. For one thing, to kill chaos. Sisters of Rage. Sisters of Rage are surprisingly well armored and equipped, often using armor and experienced sisters of battle that have gone on a frenzied spree of violence and rage. What in the world is that? Defecting to the forces of chaos. Oh, before defecting to the forces of chaos. <laughs> that P is supposed to be an O, and my brain was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Red sister. Okay. Replentia superior. Corn martyr. Very light and flexible armor to maximize mobility over survivability, bearing the markings of corn and menaces with studs and spikes. Peace. Corn retributor. Corn assassin. Corn retributor superior. Slanish Guardsmen. The Slanish Guard are better equipped than most Trader Guard regiments, sticking to standardized equipment loadouts when possible, although each regiment may have their own idea of what is the perfect standard to uphold. The Slanish Veteran. Slanish Veterans are as well equipped as they are disciplined, hoarding the best armor and weapons for themselves. Chaos Heretic. Chaos Heretic have almost entirely mechanical cyborg bodies fused with what remains of their flesh. They carry themselves aloft with grav repulsor technology and use personal shields combined with advanced weaponry for personal protection. Chaos uh, Penitente. I think that's right. Given crude weapons, simple stubbers, melee weapons wired with mines or explosives, these hapless cowards are exploited as a near limitless resource by the forces of chaos to prod our defenses and waste valuable munitions. Chaos Ogren. Ooh. Chaos Ogrens wield heavy weapons such as the heavy stubber with remarkable ease, if not accuracy. Their carapace armor is in combination with their physical stature makes them tough opponents. Oh, that dude's huge. 
Well, it is an ogre, I guess. Trader Ogren. Trader Ogrens have received some form of Imperial Guard training, wielding massive ripper guns. They are formidable close guns. They are formidable close combat opponents, right? Trader Squats. Imperial Squats are abhumans from a heavy gravity world, short and physically hardy. They most closely resemble baseline humans and are descendants of human settlers who colonize heavy gravity worlds around the galactic core, often coming from rich mining worlds within the Imperium. They are some of the best engineers and geologists. Squats are tenacious and stubborn, not likely to crack under fire. Squat cultists. Squat cultists recruit largely from Imperial squat populations, but can also find members from various squat holds in the fringes of the galaxy or near the Eye of Terror. They are hardy and tough to both hit and kill. That, that piece right there kind of reminds me a little bit of Blood Bowl. Anybody ever play Blood Bowl? I'm sure it has some ties to the other miniature games in there, but I really enjoyed Blood Bowl back in the day. Squat Cultist Champions. Squat Champions are heavily armored, easily able to wear several layers of normal carapace plating while still wielding heavy armaments. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was. I did play quite a bit of Blood Bowl, but never really learned too much of, like, the 40k universe. Squat Cultist Champion. Heavy armor. Yeah, okay, we did that one already. Chaos Squats. Chaos Squats are as tough and strong as any squats, often also wearing visible signs of warp and chaos mutation. They have excellent eyesight, easily able to see in the dark, and they make for crack shots. In combat, they wear heavy carapace plating or exo armor. Only sports game I enjoyed. <laughs> War is replaced by American football. Yeah, you can literally kill people in the game. It's fun. There's a Blood Bowl game on Steam, too, now. And bring a steamroller onto the yep, and until the rest <laughs> until the referee notices, yeah. Oh my god, that's such a fun game. Chaos squats cast uh Castellan, Castellan, Chaos squats Castellan Castellans are the most competent leaders of their people, chosen by both merit and favor of their chaos gods, as dictated by their sorcerer prophets. In combat, they are unlikely to retreat or take a single step back, not flinching even under the most intensive fire. Trying to stretch exercise. Nurgle cultist. Equipped with a mix of small arms, rusting and blighted, Nurgle cultist can cause considerable damage over time. Nurgle ogrim. Equipped with heavy weapons only they can carry, Nurgle ogrims uh, can cause considerable damage before going down. Slanish bragor. Slan Bragors wear a mix of a low quality armor and equipment, primarily armed with lighter Slanish small arms. They remain a credible threat to the average guardsman. You could also throw a halfling with a uh, with a really strong uh, unit, like a tree man or an ogre. You could have them have the ball, and then you could just throw them downfield. <laughs> Oh, man. Chaos Heretic. Ah, oh, the armor class for it now. Okay, yeah. See, this stuff I'm not too worried about now. I'll see that on the battlefield. Um. Yep. Squat Cultist, Squat Cultist, Trader Squats, Trader Ogren, Chaos Ogren, Chaos Penetrate, Slanungor. Slanungors wear armor and equipment supplied by the, their chaos patron forces offering good mobility and armor equivalent to a basic guardsman yep uh slongor slongor wear armor and equipment supplied by their chaos patron forces that's the same thing no offer good mobility surprisingly protective armor Slan Bulgor. Slan Bulgors wear the finest armor and gears available to their ba warbands, ornate and finely crafted. Yet with the unmistaken touch of corrupting chaos, its origins is a mystery. Fiendgor. Slan Bulgors wear the finest armor and gear available to their warbands. I mean, oh, pff. Fallen Sister. While still wearing their stolen uh, Ecliarch. Uh, my god. Ecclesiarchial armor. Heretic sisters lack the devo lack of devotion can clearly be seen in the shoddy state of their equipment, grime, and filth reflect their faithless souls, and thus their armor fall into disrepair herald of their damnation. We already had this one. That's exactly the same thing. Adeptus power armor modified to bring the bare painful 
uh, reminders of their sins. Once a sign of great imperial devotion, now turned to full chaos worship. Slanesh Seraphim. Seraphim pa uh, pattern power armor is lightweight, integrated with jump packs, and armor adjusted for airborne assault, protecting the users from injuries as well as low angled shots. Particular armor has been defiled by the touch of Slanish foul marks and engravings carefully placed across the armor in disturbing patterns. Ooh, good armor though. Slanish uh, Demi Monde. Wearing Slanish adorned cultist attire, these well sewn ritual dresses are her. Uh, Heretical in the extreme. If it was an ogre, you had to roll to see if the ogre forgot. Yeah, because there's a too stupid ability because ogres can, like, miss their turn. Yeah, absolutely, 65. I was, uh, I, I played a bit of Blood Bowl in my day. I used to go on to, um, I'm sure you all know the website, Fumble. F-U-M-B-B-L. Hey, Zoda. How you doing? <laughs> Iron Warrior Marine. Iron Warriors make use of simple heavy armor and even heavier weapons, favoring many old patterns or of both. Oh. Wow, big armor there. Holy shit. Iron Berserker. Iron Warrior Berserkers are devoted to corn acting as siege-breaking shock troops. One of few Iron Warrior forces using dedicated melee loadouts. It is uncommon, but not rare, for the Rage to take over an Iron Warrior in much the same way. The Obliterator Virus dose, consuming them from the inside out until all they care about is destruction of the enemy in melee. <laughs> yeah, uh, F-U-M-B-B-L. Uh, that website, you can play uh, Blood Bowl for free online against other people. If you really like the, the... I'm pretty sure it's still around. Quick NES game for easy... <laughs> easy PP. Girl PP. Um, maybe you should try... That's a, that's a simple ass game. Easy to pick up. Oh, yeah, what's up, Super Fry? Yeah. Chubby Cherub? That's a good show. Oh yeah, Magic Johnson, that's another one. <laughs> Tyrant Terminator. Iron Warrior Tyrant Siege Terminators wear ancient uh Cataphracti pattern Terminator armor. Armed with mounted cyclone missile launchers and housing shoulder inlaid shield generators. Cataphracti, yeah, okay. Deserter soldier. Deserters wear the equipment they had in the PDF or guard formations they once belonged to, mostly wearing flak jackets, basic helmets. Through mutiny, theft, and desertion, they seek to maintain their equipment. Deserter scout. Deserter scouts are lightly equipped, preferring camouflage over armor to stay protected. Armed with uh, long lasts and sharpshooter rifles, they are deadly opponents for the unwary. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. You're looking for, uh, like, stocked leaderboards as well. You could, uh, probably get, like, a five-and-a-half-minute Mario time and skyrocket. <clears throat> Deserter Soldier. Or just go for the sub-five, like I did. Deserter Scout. They're very lightly equipped. Deserter Scout's origin. Deserter Scouts, while well, cowardly, retain the deadly skills they had as scouts and sharpshooters. Their training in camouflage makes them hard to detect, even in daylight. In the, the deserter bands, they range ahead to locate supplies and weak points to raid, robbing civilians and even the ecclesiarchy in blatant acts of heresy. Deserter guard. Deserter guard have access to most basic guard equipment, if not as well supplied or maintained. Same with the deserter gunner. Deserter guard origins. Low-ranking deserters from local guard regiments. Through, deser uh, through desertion, mutiny, and treason, they have abandoned their post or even carried out acts of sabotage and theft, doing great harm to the Imperium. Armed with stolen rifles and other small arms, they are a lesser threat and are to be hunted down, captured, or killed wherever found to dissuade the others. The throwing goes on us, Captain. It's so broken. Yeah, Mario has so many runners on it now. <laughs> Um, 
Well, you have a lot of Mega Man experience. You can try some of the other Mega Mans you haven't had runs in. Deserter officer. Deserter officers are often armed with some form of officer sword and pistol, having their pick of whatever looted Imperial gear at their disposal. Spells overview. Ooh, to cast a spell, a soldier uses their vital energy, so assignment of these tomes and parchments to a righteous bear is essential. Side missions overview. Force commander. There are several missions that we might accept if we so wish. They will not affect our main campaign against the hostile forces of the planet, but can grant us more experience and new weapons for our forces. Nice. Leader Throne, just Warhammer 40k and top-down presentation. I don't think so. You're talking about that, uh, the game. God. I know I've played this. I think I've played this. I'm thinking the right one. Anyway, um... I could be wrong, but I don't remember that being the case. Let's see here. Um, oh, it's a roguelike from 2015. Yeah. Inspired by Fallout. Yeah. Access lift. Hey, we're into the building. The access lift allows equipment and personnel to be transferred into or out of an underground base. It is always the first facility to be constructed on a new site. The lift area is vulnerable to intrusions from any potential hostile forces. Norm. Living quarters each accommodates blocks provides up to 50 personnel. Sounds pretty, uh, pretty basic for XCOM so far. The facility provides basic recreation, food, and sleeping areas. Laboratory, 25 adepts to conduct research, identify artifacts, and apply it for requisitions. Workshop, a workshop contains all the equipment necessary to manufacture equipment based on designs from your adepts. Up to 50 servitors can occupy a workshop, although items under construction will also consume some space. Small radar system, a small detection system has an effective radar range of 300 nautical miles and is linked to satellite systems from ground search. The system has a 10% chance of detecting an average size object every 30 minutes. A large detection system, a uh, large radar system, has an effective range of 450 nautical miles and is linked to satellite systems for a ground search. Each system has a 20% chance of detecting an average size object every 30 minutes. Missile defenses. Missile defenses provide some protection against incursion by hostile craft, which are attempting to land near the base. General stores, all equipment, weapons, systems, munitions, recovered material, and heavy weapon platforms are placed in stores, including equipment assigned to craft and hangars. That's a capacity of 100 units. No, I think it would be cool if we could add, like, a, uh... I guess it would be kind of like a, uh, maybe even for, uh, disabilities or such, or maybe for language, but, um... Uh, a narrator for these games, for these, for the codex sections, would actually be really neat. You didn't change radar to aspects. Uh, Such an easy lore change. Ah, ha! Prison cells. Live Xenos and agents of chaos must be detained in secure cells prior to the completion of their interrogation. These facilities provide ten self-contained units for this purpose. Hangar. Each hangar can accommodate one craft. It contains space for maintenance, refueling, and repair of any type of craft. Each craft station at a base must have a free hangar assigned to it, which cannot be used by other crafts, even if the assigned craft is out on a mission. Like, I would sign up to, to do all this, but as you can see, I make a lot of mistakes when I, when I read these things out. Corridor. Simple patches that can connect parts of the base. It would also help with understanding... Uh, specific words, especially for people who don't, who can understand English, but can't really speak it well, or, like, read it. I think that would be uh, a really, really nice thing to have some kind of uh, a narrator for this. And this is also another reason why I like going through all here, because I like the lore, and I like getting all of the background information on the upcoming mod that we're doing. Axis Outpost. Claim required to set up your outpost site. Oh, okay. Holy Imperial Dirt. Clear terrain is open space with no obstructions or constructions. All right. Emplacement. Protect your outpost with a twin bolter gun emplacement. Heavy emplacement. Protect your outpost with a, with a heavy turret armed with a standard battle cannon. Minefield. Protect your outpost with an area covered with landmines. 
Outpost. This large facility allows us to accommodate equipment and personnel with a, an, with a hangar present and a large detection system. They're trying. I'll give it that. <laughs> that needs uh, to be built as power wash simulator and mechanic simulator meets XCOM where you have to clean out and repair the equipment after a mission. Oh my god. Last free runner. You're getting million dollar ideas in chat right now. Open XCOM localizations are pretty robust. That's true, actually. That's pretty true. I, I'd play the shit out of that. I ain't gonna lie. This large facility allows us to accommodate equipment and personal data, or personal uh, personnel, and train up to fifty soldiers at a time. Oh wow, fifty soldiers at a time. It's very big though. A trading outpost for rare and valuable uh, supplies and commodities across the globe are stored, sold, and transacted. Summary. Unlocks high-value goods for sale. Provides room for 30 units and 500 storage space. Generates 200,000 income per month. Okay. <laughs> I'm more of a lore writer. That's fair. Yeah, my brain cannot handle, like, designing or coding. It, I've I've looked into it. Like, I have to really get into it to want to do it. And that, my brain has a real hard time with that. Plasma Generator, a building that provides power generating resources each month, but needs protection so it won't get destroyed. Negative 300,000? Do you also get 300,000 for just having that? Barracks. These accommodations are specifically designed to meet a requirement of training and maintaining an Imperial Guard regiment in working order. Living quarters may be upgrading to meet the standard, keeping the space to house 50 personnel while also providing facilities to train 10 guardsmen at a time. Oh, wow. Okay. So they just they brought training and barracks into one unit. I, I actually really, really like that. Ultramarines. Of all the thousand and more Space Marine chapters, it is the blue-clad Ultramarines that, in the mind of the countless billions of the Emperor's subjects, personify everything that the Adeptus Astartes stand for. Originally known as the Warborn, these superb soldiers are here to stem the tide of chaos on this planet. Death, wa Death Watch bonus. Cleave to the Codex Astartes. They have more time units and energy. Imperial Fists, one of the most valiant of the chapters held as paragons of the principles set down in the Codex Astartes, the Imperial Fists stand at the steadfast defenders of the Imperium and the Emperor's unwavering shield. For 10,000 standard years, they have been the bulwark against which the armies of traitors and aliens have shattered. Death Watch, or is that, is it Death Watch, Death Wath bonus? I don't know what that is. I assume it's Death Watch bonus. Experts in armor, they suffer no penalties per armor and have better attached equipment. Blood Angels, the sons of Sang uh, Sanguinius are experts in the use of all weapons and launching of army shattering assaults. Their forces are an inspiring sight in the ranks of the Emperor. Death Watch bonus. Bound in blood, they can regenerate by feeding with no time needed in the Apothecary Bay. Oh. That's nice. Salamanders. The Salamanders are warriors possessed of a nobility and compassion that uh, believes that bellies their fell appearance. They are excellent craft, uh, craftsmen all, both within the sphere of war and without. Death Watch bonus. Hail from Nocturne. Fire does minimal damage. Black Templars, a successor chapter of the Imperial Fist. The Black Templars are on a permanent crusade against the enemies of mankind. Their religious fervor is infectious, bolstering morale wherever they fight. Death Watch bonus, crusade by the sword. The Templars have expert melee stats. Ooh. White Scars, the horse master tribes of uh, Kogoris. Lend the white scars that recruit them as affinity with mountain warfare. They carry the proud warrior tradition of Yaghatai Khan into the rank. Death Watch bonus experts in assault. They require less energy to move. That is quite nice. Space Wolves, renowned for their ferocity, courage, and hot-blooded approach to warfare. They are masters of the hunt, upholding the savage honor of Lemon Russ. 
Death Watch bonus, born in harsh Fenris. They have more health and auto cauterizing wounds. Oh, wow. So they just heal themselves. <laughs> okay. Dark Angels, with a uh, uh, temp tempestous history, they saw their homeworld destroyed. They have a stern and pitiful pitilessly efficient excuse me they have a stern and pitis, pitilessly efficient there's something in that sense that is not going well in my brain the battle brothers are well suited for the emperor go holes death watch bonus one of the purest and least degraded of all gene seed they have more devotion and psi power nice <laughs> crisman fist crimson fists Though brought to a fraction of full strength by a devastating orc attack at Rin's Whirls, they are famous for never giving up. Death Watch bonus near extinction. They have no leadership issues. They are they are negative morale immune and pain immune. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And again, probably not done by somebody who knows English. A-okay with it. I'm just trying to get through it. This section is specially made for contributors that are not part of the team, but help the mod in a meaningful way, and their assistance is gratefully appreciated. May the Emperor bless the contributors. Oh, I'll give them some time. Fate for Fate, Lord Flashheart, Fira, Ivan Dogovich, The Departed, TD Vice, uh, Zom126, Eddie Kitty, Cab Shep, Juicy Giblets, Philip H., G.U. Doc, or Gudoc, uh, Afrenis Spartano, Theodore Templar, Noble Bright, Star Squid, Erratic Deviant, Voice Acting Scions, Surrealistic, uh, Brenshar, Luke83, and Jackstraw2323. Choopy, Kildarian, Quellus, Tarkhek, Zastaver, Arendraku, Bookcake. This section of the code has provides basic tactical insight. Cartography. This is actually a really helpful thing. Okay, so there's six places on the planet, basically. Princeps, uh, Decemviri, Novus, or Novus, Majesty, Magistia, Ariga, and Thracian? Thracian? Self-cauterizing is pretty sick, yeah. Imperial Honors. Our forces can obtain Imperial Honors for killing the foes of the Imperium and accomplishing certain missions. Taking down an enemy base, clearing a derelict hulk, a complete, and completing side operations are mission types that will award Honors. Combined Interception. Enemy craft are being deployed across the planet. In order to take them down, we must launch interceptors of our own. To perform a combined interception, once the first craft catches the enemy vessel, press the minimize the window button and wait for the more craft to join. Okay, these are just basic tips. Escort. Some of our transfers need escort for enemy missions when en route to a mission. Our craft can escort any other craft by selecting it. I'm glad they touched on this, so I will make sure to actually escort our crafts as well. Soldier marks. The marks following your soldiers' names represent their most salient characteristics in battle. This is good. Tactical mark health. Devastator mark strength. Assault mark melee and mobility. Scout mark, aim and reactions. Once any of those reaches an exceptional level, it becomes a veteran mark. Hero mark, psychic ability. Exclamation mark represents cowards and poor psychic ability. So that's the tactical mark, devastator mark, assault mark, and scout mark. And then this is the uh, hero mark. And then this is the coward. Or no, the exclamation mark's coward. All right. Scope weapons. Only pr weapons that have a scope can provide the user with the option of taking an aim shot. That's interesting. Okay, so aim shots are very specific in this. Area damage. Large units take damage for each of their tiles that are affected by an area of effect blast. Keep in mind, large units, yep, 4x4 four four takes 4 times. Craft deployment. Some, craft like, uh, some crafts like the drop pods require a full turn to deploy. This can work to your advantage or disadvantage depending on the mission. Weapon usage. Most weapons will have increased accuracy if the unit is in a kneeling position. All two-handed weapons will have an accuracy penalty if the other hand is not free while using it. Terminator Marines can fire two-handed weapons with the other hand full without the penalty. Wow. Some weapons cannot be fired at all unless the other hand is empty, even when wielded by a Terminator. 
Armor repair. Servitors and tech marines can repair all types of damaged armor. In order to do so, they must be adjacent to the unit to be repaired. The facing of the unit to be repaired does not matter, as the most damaged armor will be repaired first. Okay. Personal shield. Shields recharge along passing of time. They start with low charge and take time to be near maximum, never reaching full state. Interesting. Scanning enemy craft. Gathering data of the various craft the forces of chaos employ in their relentless attacks is imperative to overcoming them. Every enemy craft you assault and recover provides your adepts the opportunity to study its weaponry, fight pa flight patterns, and weaknesses. Researching this scan data will give you information on how to achieve air superiority over the forces of chaos. Capturing and interrogating heretics possessing technical information of their craft may also prove useful. Devotion. Devotion represents an individual's dedication to a specific idea or cause. Those with incredible faith in their icon can manifest its will in the material universe. Most soldiers will gain devotion only by prayer or exercising psychic abilities. Sisters of Battle will gain devotion simply by participating in combat, but their faith may be shaken by the powers of the warp flashing red in battle. Interesting. Moving when over-encumbered. Against the powerful foes of the Imperium of Man, heavy firepower often proves necessary, but this can slow down your troops. Soldiers that are encumbered over their weight limit will lose energy proportional to the amount of overweight at the beginning of their turn. And the most massive weapons also include a penalty to time units. Kneeling reduces that penalty in half. Okay, so if you end the turn kneeled, you actually gain advantage. That's really interesting. If, if there's this big of an over-encumbered guide, it might be a big factor in the game, so I'm interested. Weapon strength requirements. The strongest weapons of the Imperium require an equally strong warrior. Ranged weapons with a recoil value require that much strength to get full accuracy. That's what I was wondering about. Soldiers below that value will lose accuracy according to the shot type. Aim snap shots lose up to 50%. Auto shots lose up to 100%. Kneeling with a weapon that has a bipod removes the penalty. Melee weapons with strength required act similarly, but kneeling will not help. Interesting. Oh, there's a little bipod too. Oh, that's so cool. Destroying terrain. Destroying the fortifications of our Emperor's foes can provide tactical advantages during a breach or even be necessary to purge a mission zone. Las gun blasts or bolts are sufficient for light material, but crack explosives are more effective for general demolition. Melt guns are necessary for the most hardened materials like spacecraft hulls. When explosives fail to breach, more of the same will be ineffective. Use more power or try a different location. And it even shows you which weapons can use against each one. These are great. I love these screens. Intercepting ground craft. While waiting for our foes' aerial craft to land is an effective way to counter their incursions, hostile ground vehicles often are armed with turrets that are deadly to even the Imperium's most hardened infantry. Engage in disable enemy ground craft such as orc wagons and traitor chimeras with your own aircraft first before the ground assault in order to have a chance of neutralizing the turrets. Hmm. Assaulting craft. Engaging and disabling hostile craft with your o own provides an advantage on the ground. The crash landing can detonate volatile power sources, reducing your foes' forces and providing alternate breaches points in the hull. However, most craft will land or otherwise become stationary to complete their mission. This provides opportunity to assault their ground forces and capture more resources than from a wreckage. Use your craft's radar to pursue and await the chance to attack. Geoscape icons. Force Commander, the icons on your strategic display indicate the size and makeup of the enemies of the Imperium at a specific location. Familiarize yourself with them and prepare your forces accordingly. Should you observe frequent activity originating at a certain point of the on the globe, having your craft perform stationary patrols in the region may reveal an enemy outpost or base there. Yes, that sounds about right. Okay, so... Okay. Um... Oh, this is very interesting. So the red one is scary. I get that. The uh, the orcs are like an orc face, kind of. Um, the easiest of them just kind of look like... I, I don't even know. This is like Atari graphics almost. I love it. But the smallest ones are these, and the medium ones are these. 
Tactical Escape Mission Briefing Video Pack installed. The information here is fantastic, but the in-game videos genuinely are mind-blowing. Sure. I don't, I don't know if that's an actual thing. I do not have that. I don't think. I could get that, though. Um, but, okay, so I got a general idea of what I'm looking at now. So that's, you know, that's orcs. That's, I forgot what these are at the moment. Death angels or something. Uh, using weapon emplacements. Weapons that are entirely too cumbersome to be portable when set up may be mounted on an emplacement of fortifications or craft. In order to use them, have a soldier use a melee attack while kneeling on an emplacement. The emplacement will then be usable, firing with the soldier's accuracy and reactions. Huh. Hits made by the emplacement will count for training. The soldiers will remain stationary until the beginning of the next turn. Uh, that would be amazing, yeah. Um, that's really cool, though. Extended front side. Armors with big hand shields, such as the Bulgrin with slab shield, as well as mounted guns with front shields, such as the mounted las cannon, have an, ex uh, an extended front side for determining hits. This means that oblique front hits are considered front hits instead of side hits per chance. Oh. Promotion by commendation. Instead of requiring specific ranks and talents, in form of statistics, certain soldiers can be promoted once they attain specific commendations. These include penitents to guardmen, guardsmen for long service time, or guardsmen to veteran guardsmen for veteran, sure. Uh, Firstborn Space Marine to Terminator for Crux Terminatus. And available promotions depend on faction strategy choice. Pilot training. Some exceptional guardsmen have the talent to fly fighter and bomber craft exceptionally well. These individuals can be sent to an emergency training session to teach them advanced fighter tactics. With the training, they are formally taken from the infantry service and will only pilot sentinels for ground combat once training has completed. They may still be pressed into an infantry role, but their skills will degrade due to additional stress. Heavy weapon teams. Troops with heavy weapons who do not have sufficient strength to wield them will require to set up their guns. They can do it on their own, but will require time until the next turn for the heavy weapon to become fully operational. As an alternative, a fellow guardsman with the heavy weapon toolkit can help deploy the weapon. The supporting soldier can also help pack up the weapon so it can be moved in the same turn again. Okay, so we're going to be looking at duos here. Okay. Commanding officer. Regimental officers are capable of issuing battle-wide commands. All commands use command points, which depend on the composition of the committed forces. Depending on rank and soldier type, each soldier contributes to the command point pool. The higher the seniority of more command points, they contribute. Soldiers such as penitents or ogrins do not contribute any points. The cost of a command depends on the number of all soldiers committed, dead or alive. Commands can, also, can only be issued by officers. That's neat. Commands. Following commands can be given per turn. Only one command can be active per turn. Blitzkrieg. The reaction score of all troops is increased. All enemies will be slower to react, but also react in greater force once they get the opportunity to do so. Fixed bayonets. All troops will get a melee accuracy and damage bonus. The accuracy shown will not reflect on the actual improved melee chance. Hunker down. All soldiers will take defensive positions. Incoming damage will be reduced even more though, so when kneeling. Nice. Carrying over time unit damage. Any weapon doing time units damage such as the Weber, Photon Flash, or Shotgun Sun ammunition will carry 50% of the time unit damage to the next turn. This means that by continuing continually applying the time unit damage, a unit will not be able to act at all. Once all time units for the next turn are depleted by the carry over damage, a unit will flash in a gray color similar to the blue shield flash. Okay, so stun rounds effectively also take time units away. I like that. Executing for morale. If it's a commissar's duty to ensure the purity of the regiment to which they are assigned, as such, they have been trained to execute anyone displaying cowardice in battle. Commissars can elect to execute anyone to bring the fighter, uh, bring the fighting spirits up again. The higher value and rank the target has, the more fear the execution will st instill in the remaining guardsmen. The next turn after the execution, the remaining loyal troops will gain a morale boost, scaling with the commissar's bravery. 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Medkits extinguish fires. When soldiers are on fire, each medkit uh, contains necessary foam agents and ointments. Using the heal button, a medkit will put out the fire instead of healing a fatal wound. Only then will fatal wounds be treated as usual. Oh, I like that too. Putting that as part of the medkit. Armor abilities. Armor abilities are extra weapons tied to your armor and all functions. And, oh, and all function the same as handheld weapons. The stats of these weapons can be viewed by looking at the info section of the codex for that armor. Weapons and overheat. Some weapons produce so much heat that their accuracy characteristics degrade till they have cooled down. These weapons also run into the risk that they will blow up when they maximize heat levels when they maximize a maximum heat level has surpassed. Once the heat indicators start flashing, the weapon will explode over the next turns. Soldiers are smart enough to not reaction fire once the weapon has reached the maximum heat level. That's good. Okay, and it, sho okay, and it shows you the scale on the gun. Goodness, this is one of the best codexes I've read. Grav uh, Gravition damage. I think that's supposed to be gravitation damage. Graviton weapons utilize the weight of their targets to inflict damage. These types of weapons receive an additional health damage bonus range from 2 to 4% depending on the weapon or the total armor, the sum of all sides of the target. So heavy ass things could take a lot of damage from that. That's fun. Limited flight jetpacks. Jetpacks need to be enabled before a unit can fly. Depending on the armor, the jetpack will shut down at the beginning of the new turn and can only be restarted once the cooldown is passed. Corruption Infection. Know that our foes seeks to subsume our very souls. Certain profaned weapons and sorcery can inflict corruption or infection, damning their victims to a fate worse than death. Without aid, they will eventually succumb. If a unit is reduced to no health while corrupted or infected, they may mutate into horrid abominations. Fortunately, our blessed Medicaid are capable of purging these blights via the heal function or grant the Emperor's mercy to prevent turning. Advanced Vision Mechanics Each armor has different tile sight ranges, depending on light, darkness, anti-camel values. No! Oh. Arno Bardo. Arno Bardot, thank you so much for that sub. I appreciate that. You want to give that a big old yeah, yeah. Let's get you on that list. Thank you so much. Arno Bardot. I think I said that right. I hope so. I've been on a, I've been on a bad streak of pronouncing things today. Anti-Camo Valley. Subtracts from target Camo Valley and smoke density versus heat vision value. Percentage negation of smoke. Camo Valley's effect at which number of tiles distance the target unit can be spotted by the observing unit. Scouts, officers, and advanced armors have better vision optic values. Makes sense. Advanced vision mechanics too. Use control plus end to adjust brightness. Keep in mind this does not affect darkness or spotting calculations. Okay. Check your controls options for how to toggle night vision mode. Purely graphical. Use space to switch. Yep. Stealth and infiltration. Certain units of ours have the ability to infiltrate onto the battlefield unseen for several turns by various means. While infiltrating, these units will have a dark colorization or coloration and be unable to be perceived or engage in reaction fire. An infiltration unit that takes or deals any damage to another unit is automatically and instantly revealed. More skilled infiltrators can re-enter the state after securing enough kills. Yo. I like that. I love the ability to have a cloaked target just be able to hide. That is awesome. <laughs> hotshot munitions. While undeniably powerful, hotshot munitions produce heat above acceptable parameters that cumulatively degrades weapon performance and accuracy until the munition has either had time to cool or is replaced. Hellgun weaponry is specifically designed to run hot and thus does not suffer from this problem. Trade goods. Spare parts, medical supplies, construction materials, machinery, food and drink, the other sundry goods and commodities purchased and transacted in bulk, the true lifeblood of the Imperium. These can be acquired and resold for a tidy profit. Long service time. Soldiers who have served in 10 missions and for 3 months may be honored by this award. Good luck, y'all. Any penitents uh, with such a track record may be pardoned of their previous crimes, but, there have, but they have to continue serving as guardsmen. 
Veterans. Soldiers who participate in surviving combat missions can call themselves battle-hardened veterans. For this commendation, a soldier needs to take part in 15 missions and achieve 15 kills. Grux Termate, uh, Terminatus. Space Marines awarded with the Crux Terminatus can be promoted to Terminators. For this honor, the Space Marine needs to have achieved 30 enemy kills in a campaign. Refer to your soldier list menu to see which units are eligible for special transformations. Hero to the Imperium. Soldiers who are awarded with this commendation have been of great service to the Imperium of Mankind by showing great feats of the battlefield. These rare soldiers have by all means earned their honorable discharge and may retire in peace. Allowing these soldiers to retire as heroes will boost morale on the home front and grant a huge amount of Imperial favor, usually paid in tokens. This honor is bestowed on a member of the Imperial Guard achieving 50 missions and 50 enemy kills. Side effects include temporarily blindness. Battle tested. Soldiers with a basic level of real combat experience. This is a requisite for Imperial Guard officer promotions. For this commendation, a soldier needs to take part in at least three missions, serve for one month, and achieve at least one enemy kill. Wow, we really are playing some, uh, some of the lesser uh, strong units, I see. Strategy over here. This section of the guns please do Wait, is this it? Oh my god, we made it, everybody. We made it. We made it. We are through the whole codex. Not bad. Not bad. Very interesting. I gotta say, I really liked a lot of this codex. A lot. It's really, really cool. Alright. Um. Okay, so now we know a little bit more about this stuff. Uh, I think Guardsman would probably be the right choice. Yeah, disable Scion strategy and add human strategy. Although Scions have, uh... Oh, man, I don't know. Only two and a half hours later! It was a little while. Um... Radical recruitment, which is its own separate thing. That takes a while. Um, and then there's the beginner mode, but I don't think I'm going to pass on that. New modder. <laughs> it's just going to load up a new mod and just read a codex. That's the stream now. Um, but Scion strategy, though. Ab human mid tier. All right, I'm gonna go with guardsman. Uh, manufacture. We can manufacture what commissar requisition. Imper. Oh, you get somebody to join by doing that. Late bolter clip. Heavy stubber handheld. Las gun power cells. Retire hero of the Imperium. Honorably discharged hero, and you get 3,000 tokens from it. Uh, metal storm frag clip. Alright, so we can... Oh, does he get a commissar from that? Okay. Uh, what can we purchase? We can purchase some of the support servitors to help. <laughs> Guardsmen must be normal people and guns have human be the mutation signs. Uh, signs are probably like... Yeah, and stormtroopers highly trained. Yeah, I, I would think they were like... <laughs> well, you're all retiring at some point one way or the other. Um, crack grenades. Let's get some frag grenades. Um, some chain swords, some power fists, power knuckles, and I'll just try some of this stuff. Uh, electro flares, bolter turret, haunted turrets here. I don't, I'm just gonna grab one of each. Um, two pattern missile launcher, short and lighter version of the standard, and this is the standard. How much does this one weigh? Mm -mm 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 -mm. 45. 30. So that one is definitely lighter, but we already have one of each. 
Let's get some crack missiles. Just get a little bit of everything, I guess. It's duty. <laughs> Take a derp nap. <laughs> yeah, heavy weapons toolkit. Get a couple of those. Armor piercing. Okay. Guess we need to get a couple of each of that. Uh, guard las gun. We have a ton of those. Uh, let's get some of this too. Guard las pistols, I guess. Um, I don't know how much I should be purchasing here. Let's have a couple shotguns. Um, craft multi laser, right, for our. We got some of those. Plasma missile launcher, crack missile launcher. The Thunderbolt, Lightning, and a Valkyrie. The Thunderbolt is a, a heavy fighter. The Lightning is the lighter fighter. And the Valkyrie is our transport ship. Yeah, that is my. That's exactly where my brain went to first, too. When I read that earlier, I was like, can I just get a large radar right away? That seems like the idea. <laughs> Uh, Connie wanted a flamer, so we at least have to have one flamer. Flak medic, equipped with a medic kit and advanced diagnostic gear guardsman wearing this armor. Oh, it's armor. Okay. Get a couple of those. I don't... What is the tarantula hype here? We'll get one. Um, sports servitors help craft... Um... want to try a bunch of this stuff um build a large radar here uh probably another living quarters here um all right who's we don't really have soldiers all we have is are these no i guess these are soldiers oh they're guard pilots they're airmen. Okay, so we have three airmen. That's it. Do we have? Do we have any prison cells already? We don't. You're right. Um, prison cells. Um, probably another general stores, but we can wait on that. Holy imperial dirt. Um. Okay, what do we have? We have crack missiles, twin heavy bolters. Yeah, I think so, Astro. <laughs> I think once we do the research here, we'll have... And we're going to do Guardsman first. Uh, da, 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 da. I do want a uh, commissar. I think I'm going to just get one right away. Um, hey, what's up, Goronis? Goronis, welcome, welcome to the stream. Germany, another German. Welcome, welcome. Or somebody from Germany. Training camp as well. I think these are training camps, aren't they? Yeah, you train 10 people in them, but... Wait, is the training... Yeah, we don't have... Yeah, training camp's not available. You can train in the, in barracks, though, and I'm making a new barracks. So we'll at least have some training. Um... Okay, what else do we have? Workshop, laboratory, we got those. Um... Yeah, I guess that's about it. Is for surface bases. Uh, what's up, Surrealistic? Oh, wow. Didn't I just see you on that list? I think I did, of people contributing to this. What's up, Surrealistic? Welcome to the stream. Mm -hmm. North Germany. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we got them. We can build another base. Um... Probably, but probably should. We got a lot of cash. Nothing about this idea. 
Um, <clears throat> so that should be a fun experience. All right, there we go. Gracian, it's all 500 no matter where you put it, right? That's okay. That's good. Um, I have 2.6 million. I'm not. I, I obviously I would want to make another base if I was doing this standardly, but. Oh, fine. We'll put one uh, on the other side of the planet, I guess. Right out here. North Magister. Um, and this will be... Hmm. Yeah, we just got reading the two hours of Codex. It's been great. Uh, 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 um... We will make you... Lightning Rod. Hmm. Hmm. It's harder because this is a different universe than XCOM, so I'm, like, my brain's like, I want to go with the theme, you know? Um, but I don't know Warhammer enough. Specifically. Call this Rhino for now, because that's the only one I can remember owning when I was younger. Fort Optimism. Is you know its mission while you were reading all that? <laughs> all right. Oh wait, we could have chosen the other one to go on the surface. Is that how that works? Um, interesting. Uh, well, I guess I made another one, so I should probably at least make a hangar. And, like, a living quarters here. Leave it at that for now. Um. Research, manufacture, and, all right, I think we're ready to have some time go a little bit here. Commissar Philip joins. The Commissar Philip joins the sad excuse of a PDF outpost to motivate our troops to keep fighting despite heavy losses and to show how it's done to fight in the Emperor's name. We got Officer's Power Sword, Light Bolt Pistol Clip, and Bolt Pistol Godwin Diaz Pattern. Wait, did we get a soldier? Oh, no, we just got some stuff. Cheaper on the surface. I, that probably is it. But... Support Servitor and Flak Medic Outfits. Um, are Servitors considered? Well, I need people one way or the other. Guardsman Strategy. We can now research Regimental Officers, Ogren Requisitions, I like that. Craft Auxiliary Systems, Smoke Grenade Requisition, Weapons Requisition, Motion Scanner, Basic Training, Heavy Weapons Requisition, and Low Tier Bolters. Alright. Uh, Ogren. Wow, that's gonna take a while to get, huh? Um... A lot of these seem to take a while. Maybe their system of doing things is different, but jeez. Uh, heavy weapons inquisition, weapons uh, a requisition, motion scanner, basic training. Well, I kind of want the Ogren. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And smoke grenades are obviously a nice thing. Um, I don't know how well they'll work in this universe, but I want an Ogren. And we'll go with weapons uh, requisition. Can I wait? You have chosen the guardsmen as our mainstay of our armies. Our first recruits will arrive soon. Four AP cases, one chimera requisition, two flak medics, and one mounted heavy bolter. Okay, so we're just gonna get units soon. Uh, that's that's really cool. Okay. Um, I wanted to see if I could buy more. I can. Adepts are the scientists, right? Um. Oh, wait. Oh yeah. Okay. 
We have a ton of people coming in, apparently. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, we are the Imperial Guard, Kalakaku. What's going on, Kalakaku? The chat wanted to see Imperial Guard? I have no idea about anything Warhammer-based. Any of it. And I've been learning uh, quite a bit today, so they wanted the Imperial Guard. And that is what we're doing. Yeah, I think there's a lot of new maps for this one, too. I will actually purchase five more adepts, though. Flamer, flamer chemical fuel, shotguns, stubber rifles. This is all the stuff I bought. Commissar Philip is here. All right. Hello, Commissar Philip. I did have a request for the Commissar from Astro Boy. So we'll wait till the rest come. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Um, neat. All right. Do, do. Com Commissar's great coat. Plus five time hits ten stamina, weak against melee and incendiary, decent armor. Alright. Like okay armor, not really that great. <laughs> Chaos won't know what hit him. Yeah, I I have this is a lot to take in. Alright. Elysium oh, we got we got corpse starch. Lots of them. We got recruits, baby. Lots of recruits. We got guardsmen with a flashlight. <laughs> we got lots of recruits here. All right. Um, I guess I'll just make this Astro Boy then. They're the only ones who mentioned anything. So, got that. Starting from the top here. Welcome, everybody. The last free runner. You can produce a chimera. I have no idea what that does. Can you be a medic? Sure. Try. I'll try my best to get everybody. What's up, Gudok? <laughs> All right, last free runner. Uh, let's see here. Hey, Fred Luck. Get you on the list as well. Do, 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 do. All right, we got last free runner, uh, Dan Highland. Mm -mm -mm. We got Lunk. We got Kurzov. Mm -mm -mm. We got Dusty Scarab. That's off the field. Body bag optional. Uh, Smoking Bill Murray. And then we got a username unknown at this time. Damn it. <laughs> God dang it. It's just, just too long. Uh. UKU, okay, that's a good one. <laughs> you are on the list, MTI. Don't you worry. We have a lot of people to get through here. Speaking of, MTI. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. IFV, by the way. Uh, Roush guy, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, because we didn't want to do the, uh, Johnny Dragon. Didn't want to do the other one anymore. Coach, stay. Uh, 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 Colviers. Mm, 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 R dub one. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, let's glue all these people in here now. Make sure I know where I'm at. Okay, Shinji. Mm -mm -mm. I will be 
bag, even though it's not spelled right on there. I know I, its name it is. Uh, Lord Emp Posh King Mars. Oh, there we go. Lord Emp. Guess it'll be way too long otherwise. You pippy. Uh, there was no difficulty. There was just five different factions to choose from, but apparently this is ranked as the hardest faction to use, so I assume it's the hardest. But I don't know. Off the top of my head. Uh, Bo Martin. There we go. Uh, Slaves of Fear. <laughs> the Memorial. Lazy Booking. And Astro Boy. All right. Looks like we got our first uh, crop of people here. Got to wait for our next uh, thing to come out, but then I can get the rest of you in here. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. First to die for the Emperor. Grab your flashlights and let's go. Wait, who wanted that flashlight? Was it you, Freerunner? Who was the flashlight person? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wait. I just saw it there a second ago. Oh, your pippy was the guardman with the flashlight. Okay. <laughs> with a las gun? Ah, okay. This is about as useful as one. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't take long. <laughs> Probably not. And then we got Astro Boy, and they all have guard pilot vests. Oh, wait, the, the... We could have a mounted bolter and flak medics here. Um, who's got any kind of strength here? Any kind of raw strength? I think Last Freerunner actually has a good amount of strength. Um, give me the mounted heavy bolter then. Um, flak armor and uh, medic. Well, so we don't have a medic quite yet. Um, somebody who's not going to get scared. Um, all right, Connie. Give me a medic with a flamethrower. Yo, Ark! I smell heresy! Thank you so much, Ark! Let's get you on that list. Thank you for that continued 85 months of support, Ark. What a boss. Last well, gun ineffectively because you are wearing anything even resembling armor. Yes! <laughs> the true champions. What's up, Abrusive? Get you on the list as well. All right, Connie, the flag. We might want a couple of medical, um, equipped with a medikit and advanced diagnostic guards when wearing the armor are responsible for frontline medical care. Okay, so a couple of people can definitely take it. Oh, uh, you pippy. Oh, I guess I can rename the pilot. I don't know if they get time on the out there though. Or I can just ask if somebody wants to be a pilot. Heal through third degree, but she's a smart. She's smart. They do fight. Okay. Okay. Then we'll rename the pilots as well. Uh, through the list then. Um. Did did did. Let's see these fools up here. Alright. Alright, Tolrin. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, some Wes. And, uh, Animal 8100. Welcome to training. Everybody needs to start training. That we can at the moment, anyway. Um, transformation overview. We can promote to officer. Ooh, okay. Award personal shield to Astro Boy. 
requires Imperial Tokens to do. Okay. I don't know what it does, but... Uh, train Guardsmen to Pilot. Okay, so that's how pilots happen. So we could train any of these people to become a pilot as well. Indeed, Frey. Indeed. <laughs> Shield is like a force field. Ooh. Alright, so we can train pilots as well. It adds, oh, plus 10 reaction and accuracy, but it costs quite a bit of time. Um, interesting, okay. Pardon pent, uh, Penitent. I don't have a pardon here. And a retire hero from the Imperium. All right, interesting. Uh, okay. Um, what else do we have here? No, that's it there. Okay, equip craft the lightning. Now we are on the Valkyrie, right? Right, right, right. Um. I'm just going to go down the list here. There we go. Uh, twin heavy bolter ammo, support servitors. Hold on. Do I have, like, one less person I could put a servitor on? Ah! Support servitors are strictly just for repairing things. Okay. Uh, bolt pistol. I'm just going to throw everything on here so I can go through it. Um... Gonna have to get uh, used to it, anyways, right? <sighs> I don't know what these turrets are gonna be for, but holy shit, the last free runners got a sweet ass heavy bolter. Uh, heavy bolter, twin heavy bolter. Oh, do we not have ammo for the heavy bolter? Oh, we do. It's this. Okay. Um. Alright, last free runner. What is the heavy bolter's got massive front armor, okay. Um We got heavy bolter ammo in there right now. Uh we have incendiary. Okay. But I can put like Anything in here, right? Yeah, okay. So, armor piercing, high explosive, or incendiary. We're gonna go with armor piercing. <laughs> um, and then... God, there's a lot here. Uh, take a smoke grenade, a crack grenade. And a chain sword if anything comes near you, I suppose. Wait, no, you can't use that, can't... Oh, yeah, you can <laughs> can actually equip that. <laughs> Alright. Um... Okay. Some Wes. Guard pilot. Um... Let's see here. Um, uh, there's twin heavy bolter ammo. The stubber. Uh, stub rifle. Blaz guns, uh, Lush, uh, Lucius heavy stubber, heavy stubber, auto gun. All right, um, epic chain swords. Hey, the Laz gun that everybody was saying does nothing. Uh, mm 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 mm. Uh, uh, uh. I need the last pistol would be a good choice for a pilot. Perhaps. Um, I do not know. That you can also have some, like, frag and crack grenades. Yeah, not the best firing. <laughs> Try to go with something simple. We don't have enough chainsaws at the moment, do we? 
Uh, let's get rid of the frag. There we go. Alright, I like it. Alright, our pilots can ice. Well, I don't know about the chain. The melee for you is good, actually. Your melee, not so good. So we're gonna stick you with more throwing stuff. Give you a smoke grenade. Give you a frag grenade. You want one of each grenade. Some flares, I guess, in case. Uh, you don't need that unless it's uh, power. Oh, we have power knuckles. Forgot about that. Uh, all right. <clears throat> that doesn't mean much in 40k. Yeah. Hey, Slavin. Get you on that list. Slavin. Oh. Let's see. Heavy weapons. Oh yeah, the toolkit for heavy weapon support. Do we have any of those heavy? Well, maybe the heavy stubber actually. Um. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Dan Highland. We're starting to get into a bit more firing, at least not too much, but a bit. Um. Well, let's go over to. Oh, we never. We didn't get a medic on board. Hold on. Um. Yeah, we're gonna need a medic on board here. There we go. Mm -mm, probably need more than one medic. Um, there we go. Back to them. Can be medics. Um, all right. So you wanted a flamer. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The heavy bolter. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Do you need a medic? Yeah, that's that I suppose that's fair. <laughs> oh man. Uh Connie Fire Medic and uh I'll give you a smoke grenade. Astro Boy can get the the officer's power sword, of course. Um a smoke Frag. Um, where's the yeah the light bolt pistol? There we go. Uh, what does it take that one? Um, do we have any of that more ammo? That, that's ultra pattern though. Oh, okay, I guess that works. Good. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, I guess you take a couple of the uh, crack grenade in your backpack. Someone with their sword. All right. You you do have a heavy weapon, don't you? But I don't. I, will this help though? This is for like. Do you kneel with this? I guess you do. All right, Dan Highland. Who's got really good accuracy here and strength to boot? Okay, that's not happening on any of our troops at the moment. Never mind. Um. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are a uh, a weak force at the moment. Alright, let's give you, um, we can take something a little heavier, like, uh, this shotgun here. How about that? <laughs> Gas rounds? Stun rounds? And shells? Uh, well, they all look exactly the same, so I guess we have to make sure which one is which. Uh, let's load it with, oh, gas round sounds fun. Give you some stun and regular shells. And uh, a couple of grenades. 
it's 24. Right, let's go back to the beginning here. Yep, sounds good to me. No more shotties. <laughs> hey there, Cotty. <laughs> well, they have an officer sword. Let me heal you. <laughs> um. Yeah, no melee here. Um. Give it now. Give you the whoop. Give you that. Tracer magazine? What's the difference? Incendiary? Gotcha. Uh da da de There we go. Uh, you actually have decent melee, but you're so weak. I guess you can do a power knuckle and uh, a stubber. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Take a frag grenade. Uh, smoking Bill. Yeah, it's so low. <laughs> it's so low. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Uh, it's smoke and bill. Take the auto gun. Um, put that there. Have a smoke and a crack grenade. Username another with just 14. Uh, strength. I should go easy on my loadout. Uh, username. Okay, so we got the guard last pistol. Oh, you have really good firing, though. Hold on here. I'm gonna give you a rifle, too. Hopefully, yeah, you can actually take aim shots and possibly hit something at a distance with that, so... Oh, MTI is a medic with only 14 strength, so enjoy that Laz pistol and, uh... A frag grenade and a crack grenade. Connie has the fire. Astro Boy's got the light bolt pistol ultra pattern and the officer's power sword. And we are also getting another commissar, I believe. I, uh, I don't think I have anybody to, like, assist you so much. What is it? Yeah, it weighs 10, so... But you're not uh, 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 too much anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we have another space anyways. Um, get Roush back on there. 11 strength. That is a, uh, it's a new high. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, that's ways four. So that's about the best we're going to do here. And, um, a couple of grenades. I could put in your hand if you're using a pistol. <laughs> All right, well, it'll be interesting. I think we've outfitted our crew and our ship finally. Um,. 16 aboard to you need pilots in this which is very interesting that's frog grenade and why is it funnier all right uh i think i will send a couple of pilot training peeps um who has terrible shooting so our dub And lazy booking are both not the best at shooting, so putting them through piloting is going to help quite a bit. And those reactions, lazy booking as well. Ultramarine chapter him, but in Russian it sounds like a song about cooking soup. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we have our basis of our army now. I think we've gotten a little bit of everything underway here. 
Let's find out what's gonna happen now. Oh yeah, we got our other commissar coming now. Excellent, excellent. We can uh, acquire a chimera. So let's acquire that. Um, Krieg Guardsman Requisition. It takes six token. For, oh, we don't have any space. Okay, so that's how we actually recruit people. It's just through this. Okay. <laughs> Large upper atmosphere to the west. Large. All right. Um. Wait, is the Chimera already here? Oh, shit. What is the Chimera? Oh, you could recruit 24 people onto this. Oh. Oh, it's three ground vehicles. Okay, so I take it we're going to pull up in those three ground vehicles, which probably also have... Um... Oh, it has multi-laser. We don't have any uh, things for it yet. Huh. But if we go in the Valkyrie, it probably also has things you can use in battle. I'm not sure. Either way, let's go just check this out real quick. It's the first craft. We have... Get that MF. Oh, it crash landed. Nice. Um, the uh, the Kree Guardsman requisition is available once we have more space. We've knocked down our first uh our first ship though. Um. I guess we're going to use Chimera instead, since there's like a thousand more troops that can go. Um... For the Emperor! Oh, we also even took this out there, didn't we? Uh, let's... Uh... I think you unlock the ability to purchase normal ones. Oh. Just put all of it on there. All of it. Mm -hmm. Right clicking would be faster. Let's see. Mm hmm. There we go. We've put everything on now. Good. Um, how many pilots does this thing take? Probably none, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This death core of Krieg, yeah. We need to drown the enemy in the tide of soldiers to win. <laughs> ah. I love that this, this, uh, <laughs> the Imperials are just like, we just want numbers. We don't care. We just want numbers. Mm -hmm. Bring some less here. Yeah. Wait, no, animal, because they had the melee. Actually, no, because we need need you to stay for that. Um, which is fine. You can just put on another uh, servitor. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Roush guy. All right, coach. Good firing for us. And one of the stronger weights for us. Gonna give you the stub rifle. 
Uh, your melee's not bad. Um, you say, well, nah. Give you a couple of gran granids. There we go. We got more numbers. Never <laughs> just outnumber it. True to the lore. All right, Coveers. Uh, let's see here. You got decent reaction too. I'm gonna give you the Godwin pattern uh, bolt pistol. Light bolt. Do they both work? No. Okay. One of each grenade, Shinji firing, but with absolutely no strength. So, have a guard, La, uh, La's pistol. Um, yeah, I didn't think so. And uh, I guess a grenade or two. More men than numbers. <laughs> Alright, you got a little bit extra. You get an auto pistol in ya. And a smoke. Uh, Lord Emperor Posh King Mars uh, has a little bit of strength here. A little bit of melee. Alright, you know what you're gonna go do in combat then. Ya Pippi, another medic but with great firing. Um... Just gonna give you the bigger Laz gun. <laughs> Bo Martin. Bigger Laz gun. Oh, we have a ton of the big Laz guns. I just realized that. Um, what are these? Incendiary missiles for the missile launcher that we cannot use. <laughs> do, 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 do. We who are about to die wish we'd give to got a better travel agent. Here's your pistol grenade. Good luck. <laughs> um, I really don't have much here, do I? I guess you could take this Slaves of Fear in case we can uh, use that for something. Uh, and then Astro Boy. Um, take a Power Knuckle, too. <laughs> Is it a replaceable Holy Relic? Guard Weapon? Okay, that that would make sense. Um, Alright, we got tons of weapons here. Almost none of the actual Laz guns until the end. Um... Dyslexic moment. Alright, it seems like we got something going on here. We got three medics out here. Um, we got a stationary target. We're gonna let the, it become daytime so we can see a little bit better. Alright, we're going to our first mission, everybody. And I must use the bathroom. I will BRB and then uh, I feel like there's going to be some lists.
Oh man, just seeing how y'all talk about this is making me laugh. <laughs> I love it. 40k, that must have been hell of a New Year's Eve celebration. Alright, oh. Oh, oh, that's cool. A lone sister of battle approaches. A lone battle sister, scarred and stoic, approaches your forces. Hefting a blade over her shoulder, too big to be called a sword. Too big, too thick, too heavy, and too rough. It was more like a large hunk of iron. Only a sister on a holy crusade. Hello in pattern armor, Adeptus Vihand. Ooh, really? Bolt pistol, Godwin Diaz pattern, combat knife, light bolt pistol clip, and a melted grenade. Two of them. Is that a reference? That's awesome. Do we get her as well? Incoming Vox transmission. Zeal and Fury to control the oh. operation site. Force Commander. The mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. To abort the mission, return all units to the transport vehicle and click on the abort mission icon. Eight. The enemy craft was heavily damaged and rendered inoperable. Deliver zeal and fury to all survivors. The mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. Right. So you have weight to carry this, so you're not like, oh, it did say it was like negative 110 weight, okay, because it's mounted, that's why. It's already mounted, so it should be easier for you. We got a support servitor with a servitor kit and support servitor stuff. Uh, shotgunner. What is this again? Stubber? Uh, refers to any number just alone. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, y'all, it's your first combat. Let's go. Oh, shit. Yo, we get. Do we get to use the. Is there any, like, turrets on top of here we can use? Oh, Chimera turret? Cost one to auto shot? Holy shit! Hello! What in the world is this? This turret is insane! Oh, it takes energy, okay. You can't look around with it, though. Do they all have one? These two do. Bolter turret. Oh. Insurrectionist. Alright. At your command. At your command. What do you got here, Dusty? A 0% shot. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, see a Dusty Scarab. That was nice. Didn't think that dude was gonna refire, but yep. Two seconds in, one remedy's dead. Yeah, that was that was really fast. I should have probably put the servitors out here first. They can just take fire, right? Gene Stealer. Lay my life for the Emperor in death I am being served in corpse starch form! I was immediately out of the ship too, man. Nice shot, Lunk. Okay. Lunk draws first blood. For the Emperor! Say again. 
Okay, what did that do anyway? Double hit him. Hurt him. Okay. Covering ground. Hey, Fred Riot in here. Colviers. See ya. Alright. Get out there. Shinji. That's so fast, jeez. Um pushing ahead. Hosta. Bring him down. <laughs> Oh, look at this dig. Dig in. Oh, look at that in melee. You just get a melee button. Huh. Oh, yes. Lord Emperor Hush King Marza, who has a frag grenade. Okay. Oh, it has a pin noise. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Okay. Didn't see this before. Trader Guardsman, and there is an Arbitus over here, some kind of fucking machine. Um, that's wonderful. Huh? You tried. What's up, White Hat? Let's get you on that list. Hey, why did I put 84 on there? That's my. Go. All right. Uh, well, sorry. Uh, you went out immediately and got shot. Oh, ooh, hey, yeah, last free runner. Yes, my lord. Okay, I know you got a lot of armor from that direction, at least. Say again. You heard me, game. Covering ground. Oh, did not want to do that. Uh, well. It's smoking bills. And these have great firing, it seems. So. Oh, yeah. All right. Commissar is an exception, possibly. Okay, did I hit? So fast it did, though. Pushing ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here, you pippy. Probably gonna get bombed so bad when we're here. Alright, Astro Boy. Yeah, these are super short range guns, so. The Emperor protects. Need medical attention? Somebody will need medical attention. We can get going whenever you're ready. I like the little voice lines. Say again? Roush guy. Get you over here so you're easily blown up. Can't see over that dude. Yes, sir. Oh wait. Oh this is a gun too. Okay. That one that one's loaded. I should actually fill these things up with weapons. And get atop the chimera for elevated fire. Oh shit. I bring you the light of glory and truth. Oh, there's a little ladder in front. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. Now. Interesting, okay. Our servitor. Uh oh. 
Looks like somebody's about to blow up. Alright, well, I lost our... So... Oh, Veers just got smacked. Alright, looks like Dan Highland got friendly fired. Coveers is dead. Oh, oh! It turns you into a zombie. Okay. I see. I see. Hostile. I got gotcha. you. Sorry, Coveers had to be done. A traitor guardsman. He had full early in cash. Reporting, sir. All right, nice shooting last for your run. All right. Fight in his name. For glory! Bring him down. Nice shooting, Bo Martin. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. Pushing ahead. Um. A uh, later free runner. Absolutely, and tomorrow, of course, will be a lot more of the gameplay at that point. Hostile. Okay. Um, Slaves of Fear. Right. Gotcha. That too. We're here. That too. Somebody, are you leveling up? It is. Is there a bomb? On it's your strength. Fourteen. Don't think you're going to be uh, throwing that one too much there, Curzo. You back here. Um, okay. well, at least you hit him. Uh, 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 coach. As you can see. Nice shot. Uh-huh, I'm gonna 
let you all just react fire with your cannons. What the hell? Oh god! Oh my god, Lunk literally exploded. Holy shit. Hey there, Seraph. It's gonna be glorious. Person got zombified, I think. Oh, and another person. All right, Shinji and Lord Mars are down. Um, they are now tainted. I got gotcha. you. Um, you panic or something? Oh yeah, you are almost dead. Oh, you got knocked down. That's right. I see him. Hey there, Connie. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not know the flavor was that fucking powerful. Holy shit, dude. Well, so much for them. Oh, go one more into the play, thank you. Gets rid of her fire. Nice. She what is, is no longer on fire. Holy fucking explosions, yo. Hey, Siri. Uh, after that last one, yeah. Connie fucking nuked that whole side over there. Um, do you see that one yet? Good. Did not hit any, that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, right, that hurt a little bit. My guy's suddenly very glad to be a <laughs> See that one? They did. Oh, what's your punch chances? Forty-seven. Okay. Covering ground. Oh, I know this opening. This is the uh, TFTD ship. Okay. Shooting last for runner. You see, oh my god, it's another one of these things. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna get you by the ship then, I think. Oh. More of those fucking insurrectionists that like to uh, turn our people into things that they shouldn't be turned into. Dodged. Interesting. Pushing ahead. Sleepy now, aren't you? All right, commissar. Get your ass over there. <laughs> you got a sister of battle to carry you. Oh, that's true. Reporting for duty, sir. You get a sister of battle. Can't even do anything to this thing. It probably hurt the armor on it. Uh, let's see here, you pippy. 
I'll get you over here too. Alright, we're gonna leave you there for reactions. Take cover behind the fire. Oh, there goes our commissar <laughs> already. Oh no. Alright, this is gonna be a hell of a depth report to go through after this mission. Yes, sir. My good god, see ya, Kurzo. What the fuck? That was a quick fucking reaction shot, Jesus Christ. Alright, um. Get rid of this thing. not have a window to be able to throw that at the moment. Um, back in here for now. Can't even get your ass all the way over here. Uh, let's see. Slaves of Fear. Let me get over to the ship over here. Some LAS cannons. The RAT weapons. Uh, did I have any? I don't know. Sniper. Okay. Not gonna be a very good turn for us, methinks. Um covering ground. Yeah, slowly eat off their armor. For sure. Hitting our other turret, god damn it. I think we got a little bit of this one somewhat under control. Roush is dead. Well, Martin exploded. Okay. Nope, we don't have this under control at all. I am lying. <laughs> I think most of our people have ripped at this point. Oh. I will be back to panicking. Okay, that was really close to killing old Slaves of Fear here. Holy shit, nice punch. Oh my goodness, alright. Holy 
hell, this fucking thing is amazing. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Changing allegiances after this battle so <laughs> that Z can claim a perfect victory. Uh... Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay, you're doing some damage there, last year, Runner. Okay, well, you hit the bad of it. Yeah. Yeah, it seems that way, Pippi. Remember, this is my first time. What's up, Miserable? It was... Oh, I loved the core part of that game. I did not like the other parts of that game too much. No. But them's the breaks. Um... Push ahead. We it, got them against the rope. Yeah, you're over here still. Gotta get you over to this ship. So you can blow up real quick. Fight the Imperial Guard has been in! <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Surrealistic? Oh, I, I, my brain is just... Yeah. Well, they're kneeling, they can dig in via the shovel. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I should, I should check that out as well. I guess you're just gonna be on fire. Uh, sorry. There we go. Um. Ah. Just do a bloody mist. dead. Uh, a little bit. Let them have it. Nice shot, last free runner. Got that out of there. Make sure your front is staying that way. I have a smoke grenade here now so we can have some cover going here. I should be using smoke grenades as well. That would probably help quite a bit of moving troops without them literally exploding right away. Right. See what this dig in does. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, okay. I can see you like a little thingy. Okay. Um. We finish this with a positive KD. Yeah, seriously. We can get going whenever you're ready. I got gotcha. you. Digging as well. Wow. Uh, More friendly charging. I don't think we have the units for that kind of approach at the moment. I've already lost so many. Username and MPI went berserk. And Connie and Coach. And I will be back. And Slaves is here. Alright, well. Yeah, I got a little fucked up there. All right. So everybody but you basically panic. Nice, dude. I love this thing so far. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Let's mount our defense. Oh my god, we're fucked. Time we load up chimeras with all their mounted guns and let them fire for a few turns before dismounting. Probably. I this is a whole new experience to me as well. Like Warhammer is such a foreign thing to me in this aspect, so it'll be cool learning it. Yep, Connie's dead. And MDI's dead. Everybody, in place it, reloading, recharging. A few turns left. All right. See ya. First, the amount of casualties under Toad's command. That's pretty accurate, honestly. Um, can't really. Uh, oh, I did say recharging, right? Your bolter mount will salvage this operation! I'll be back as dead. Coach went berserk. Oh shit. Okay, we actually have somebody who can do something. How many people do we have left? We have three people left. Take your ammo! Warm up, men! There's work to be done! We are the Imperial Guard! It is time we started acting! Ah, I think last free runner has the idea. Oh yeah, I mean it's the fir very first mission we've done. I, I don't, I didn't expect it to go too well, to be honest. Um, that's okay. Uh, 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 uh. At your command. Ready to serve. Shadowing in chat before the mission. Yes! A little bit. Coach has gone berserk. This is gonna carry us to victory, damn it. Sooner rather than later. At your command. All right, hey, we're almost to seeing you again. Oh, coach, you're back. We're the emperor. Actually, finish this one. Ready to serve. I didn't think we really would. You can shot with this. Oh my god, that's so good. Hello, you're running out of ammo at this point. It kind of blew up the whole. 
Ah, right, here we go. Nothing like a little heavy stubber for Coach. In his name! Uh, just 40k, I believe. XCOM 40k mod. But I'm also using the Resigma suck mod for it, yeah. doesn't take your timing its way, it takes your energy away when you're over encumbered, that's right. I gotta remember that. Takes less energy when you kneel. Okay, yeah, that's a big thing to know, actually. That's actually a huge thing to know, because we can have much better, heavier weapons on our people in that case. Cats making me sweat. Guards in the back. They have to be fed, and that's expensive. Uh... All right, we are out of ammo here. I'll throw a grenade next turn. Sword to use. Forgot about that. <laughs> Needs to reload when we have a fucking chain sword. Keep chipping away. Uh, we're fighting the Arbites or Arbitus. I think it's Arbitus. Arbitus. Poke the sword over the gun. Oh man. Okay. This is how we do it in the royal, in the uh, in the imperial guard. We we just take our our biggest war machines and put swords on them and run them at things. Yes, Go. 
point that heavy stubber fire is actually penetrating, yeah. We had to, uh, we had to do a bit of work there. Could y'all, like, get closer to the tank so I can blow them up? For the uproar! Final enemies here. No, no, no worries. We got this. You only have one bullet left on you, actually. <laughs> can you can you use it on the the fleshier one? You can't see the fleshier one. Oh, oh nope. There's still more enemies left. Nope. Oh, well, username's a little tired. All right, coach, you got this, buddy. Get up in that thing. All right, so we may be headed to a restart here. <laughs> all right, all right. I got some good ideas, though. I got some ideas. In the eyes of Empyrean. That's immediately. Uh, Shit, last for Rudder had eight kills in that thing that round. Four for Connie as well with that flamethrower. I like the flamethrower a lot. Like, a lot. That thing did serious fucking damage. <laughs> Alright, we'll restart. That's fine. <laughs> we'll go and go to the place we were last time. We'll stick right in the tail. Hey, Roush. Um, corpse starch. That's right. All right. Try this again. Hmm. Except we've, we've read all the Wikipedia this time, so we need, need the two-hour buffer. <laughs> Careful where you point your toys. Okie dokie. Uh, let's get the... Uh... We'll eventually get the Chimera. Uh, I did rec I requisition another Commissar last time. Um, heavy Stubber handheld. So yeah, those small guns are are great. They never fail. Um, I'll need another uh, Commissar. Why not? Bing. I'll wait this time, actually. I'll wait this time. I'll have it there, though. And we'll chill on that for now. Research-wise, I think we're going to try the Scion strategy this time. Check out those soldiers. Um, uh, we want some... I like the support servitors just as scouts, honestly. Uh, what is a Tarantula Hyperios? I don't know what it is when I'm ordering one. Craft multi-lasers. Uh, oh wait, we got a bunch of- these are for the, the ships, right? Yeah, I should put these on our thing next time. <laughs> Test the ship there for the next mission. <laughs> If you don't appease the omniscious or omniscia, uh, that's 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 true. Uh, maybe grenades will be a bigger factor. Um, I like chain swords; they're fun. Power fists seem fun. Power knuckles seem very very low in weight, so it's nice. Um, shock mauls and I guess some combat knives. Uh, some electro flares just in case. What's, this is the way to 30, right? See, this one I can use. Let's get this one. And get some missiles for it. Uh, heavy weapon toolkit. We'll get one. 
Um, guard, las guns. Yeah, those are a joke. The Lucius Heavy Stubber was actually quite nice. Um, the Heavy Stubber. Weight is what, 20 on it? What is the Lucius Heavy Stubber? 30? <laughs> we'll have some last cannons, but just not as many as we had last time, I don't think. Uh, don't care. I do want the flamer. Hell yes. Um, get a couple of medics for the thought of it, I guess. Um, okay, so this is a multi-laser craft for one of the... Okay, so that's for the, the helicopter. Okay. No, that's what chat voted on. You can play as the the normal marines, the sisters, the arbitus. <laughs> the auto guns were. Excuse me. Uh, I did like that. I'm gonna get two flamers then. Lamer was glorious and beautiful. Uh, so this... Multi laser rapid fire destroying lightly armored vehicles, providing a basic anti-air screen. Due to its power requirements and weight, it only can be mounted on ground-based vehicles. Adeptus Auroritus, yeah. Yeah, anti-tank grenades. Crack is anti-armor, essentially. Um... All right, let's get one of these just to check it out. Um, Lucius Heavy Stubber. That's a fucking pricey thing, dude. Uh, 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 uh. Lucius Patterns Heavy Stubber of Krieg uses heavy armor piercing. Carapace and even power armor. This weapon stubber is close to bolter and auto cannon and caliber. Yeah. All right, we'll get one. I think uh, heavy stubbers might be a little bit more. I mean, we have la we have 16 las guns already. We're not hurting here. Ripple Ripper pistol magazines. Anything though? Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't know much about Warhammer, but we are delving into it now. Uh, all right. Should be a decent start there. Again. Um. Oh yes, build facilities, large radar, um, living quarters, and another general stores, and some prison cells. There we go. And then the zenith of chaotic neutral. <laughs> they they run on what they believe is what I know about them, which is great. They just believe it works, and it does. Okay. Commissar Philip joins. Yep. Just like last time. We get our Godwin Diaz pattern, bolt pistol, an officer's power sword, and some clips for it. Support servitor and flak jackets are in. Scion strategy this time gives us the Hell Pistol. The Hell Pistol or Hotshot Laz Pistol both superior range and power output compared to the standard Laz Pistol. Advanced power cells grant the weapon greater performance against armored targets. When coupled to a separate backpack, power supply available on advanced suits of carapace armor, the Hell Pistol can operate for extended periods without reload. Interesting. Yeah, you can choose your faction. There's five different ones for each difficulty. It's Space Marines. Uh, just look at it real quick. Uh, Tauros Drop Requisition, Regimental Officers, Tanith Requisition, Hot Shot, Volley Gun, Craft, Auxiliary Systems, Smoke Grenades, Weapon uh, Requisition, Motion Scanner, Regiment Missions, Hologram Cast Requisition, Light Bolt, or Low Tier. It's still a lot of different stuff. Inquisition, SOV, and Rosumi, you get a few other choices. There are also subfraction choices. I didn't see any subfraction. Oh, I guess it is subfraction because you can just research what you want. Um, 
All right. Um, hologram, hologram caster, requisition, light bolter, radical recruitment, regiment missions, motion scanner, weapon requisition, Tauros drop requisition, Elysian jump armor, huh? Regimental officers, hotshot volley gun, Tanith requisitions, smoke grenade requisitions, craft exerca. Yo, Big Mike, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everyone, Big Mike Shag. <laughs> you cannot go gene stealers. Yeah. Or the Emperor! Alright, let us get. Um... Let's just get weapon requisitions first. Stormtrooper requisition. So now we can get stormtroopers, huh? Da 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 uh, a person joining as a guardman, and we get a Lucius Pattern Laz gun for a Krieg's guardman. One thing I really like about the 40k Rizigma mod is how important some soldiers feel and how brutal the missions can be. Yeah, I like that aspect. Like how the Avenger goes to Mars. I honestly don't know. I haven't gotten anywhere near that yet, but we shall see. I'm gonna acquire a few of these people. Stormtrooper requisition. Also, let's purchase some um, adepts. <laughs> Chaos Marines? I don't think so. I think it's just Space Marines. Let's check real quick. I'll show you what the five choices start are as. Space Marines, Chamber Militant, Adeptus, or Bitus, or Arbitus, Sisters of Battle, and the Imperial Guard. I assume this is also listed as difficulty. Those are the five choices. Well, that's heresy! <laughs> Maybe you can, I am uncertain. Sounds neat, though. Scion strategy chosen. We have chosen the Imperial Guards Elite as our mainstay for our armies. Our first recruits will arrive soon. Advanced Carapace Hellgun, Hell Pistol, and Volley, and Torox Requisition. Huh? Okay, we got all of our good stuff here. A Commissar Philip, of course. Come back. Do the same naming thing as last time as well. Seems like we have less troopers than last time. We have three recruits, which uh, I have recruited here. And then actual troopers, which seem to be a bit better at what they do than the previous ones. Um, so that's good. <laughs> All right, let's uh, put you on... Let's just rename you Astro Boy now. That's the only one for us specifically. So. Astro Boy, get to the bottom. There we go. Alright. Um, yeah, they are significantly. Alright, here we go. Alright, last free runner. Do, 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 do. Dan Highland Long 84 They're pilots now Curzo not pilots recruits Curzo um, and then it's Dusty Scarab and Smoke of Bill Murray mm -hmm. Username unknown at this time. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Because it gives you a bill. Yeah, I, I, after reading the thing, I see that. It's, it's really important. MTI Roush. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 Connie. Coach. Can a fighter have big boobs? I'll try my best. Um, I'm trying my best right now, to be honest. Oviers, um, R dub. And, and Shinji 60. Felines, which are extremely strong, are felonids. Uh, wait, who did I just do? My brain. Did you? Okay. Uh, that means I, I I will be back. And uh, Lord and Posh King Arza. Uh, and Yapippy. Uh, this will be Bo Martin. Mm -hmm. uh, the slaves of fear. All right. You're only one off from last time. Yeah. All right. Our troops are lit. And they oh wait, no, we have pilots still. Oopsie. All right. The lazy booking toller in some west can be pilots. What's up, Bo? Yeah, I didn't... I wasn't the biggest fan of the previous one's uh, writing, to say the least. Uh, uh, Bo? Let's get you on that list. But this is day one of Warhammer. Don't tell Toad what they are. Wait, honestly, Beastmen? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so let's now get our training area up. Uh, I forgot to do that in the beginning. Whoops, they promote the officer. Can award a personal shield to Astro Boy if we want. No, I'd do it. Rats, you got a shield now. <laughs> bonus energy shield, HP per turn 40 bonus energy shield. They have unique ability. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. All right, later, Smoking Bill. Thank you, and good luck to the Bills. Oh, the forget I'm a fan. All right, and thank you for coming by. I appreciate that. All right, hold on. Here. Okay, yeah. Uh, can we manufacture the uh, the thingy? Oh, we get a Torox this time. I assume that's the vehicle we get. There's no luck here, only disappointment. All right, let's check out. Okay, so we got Torox. Um, they can have anti-air weaponry on them. They equip 16. Okay. Oh boy, there we go. Why isn't there to put everything on the ship button? Oh wait, hold on. You know, at least one servitor. So they can run out there and die happily. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Uh, do -do. I don't think the. Uh, I don't think they do it. Anyway. Last free row, oh my. Great coat, Krieg. The guardmen's hail from the death world, Krieg. Skilled in trench warfare and the use of bayonets, these soldiers seek to redeem themselves from the disgraceful past with their unwavering morale. They look forward to sacrifice themselves for the Imperium of Man. 
Okay. Um, yeah, we have much more heavy stubbers this time, uh, which would be nice. Lucius Pattern Lasgun. Weapon of the Imperial Guard is a solid and rugged weapon that remains reliable and precise in almost any environment. What's the difference? They're both 50. Oh, power shot. Oh, this one has the power shot. That's right. Nice. Dibs on being an Ogren. You got it, Big Mike. You got it. Let's get you on that list as well. And gentle food. Do I have Ellie on? Do not. Not bad. And Ellie is on as well. Again, this is starting a whole new one, so I, I'm going to forget it. To actually put people on the list for a while. Uh, 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 all right. Um, last free runner. It's your gray coat. Yeah. Uh, for ogrens uh, seem to be like ogres, so it seems like a. You actually have sigh. Interesting. But, yeah, we're just gonna keep you the standard here. Some grenades. This post brought to you by the Black Templars! Give everyone a flamer! Just, <laughs> it's gonna turn into XCOM files all over again. It's just gonna burn the planet. Alright, uh, Dan Highland, you got a bit more... The stub rifle seems kind of crap. Uh, maybe some different ammo for it would be better. Hmm. Hey, Almacia. Let's get you on that list as well. Burn entire planets. I guess that's true. I also got that medium uh, launcher this time. There. Can I not use it? Did I not put it on? Yeah, the. Yeah, that one. Oh, that's this one, okay. Yeah, this one at least is a little bit lighter. We can actually have somebody try it this time. Alright, last free runner. You're gonna go out there. Oh, do you have smokes on your hat? Nice. Um. That's fine. Dan Highland. Um. I think the first three out are gonna have pretty simple stuff like that. All right, Kurzov, Solid Carapace. Now that's some better armor, holy moly. Bravery, reactions, and firing are up. Stormtroopers assigned to the Astra Militarum Act as the elite. <clears throat> An extreme distinct of few planets, you know? Death before dishonor! A penalty if you crouch. Yeah, that's what it seems like in this, which is really important, honestly. So, you could actually get people some of these heavier weapons. Uh, still be kind of okay with something like that. <laughs> oh, that only has a 25 firing. Okay, so you're gonna run out of ammo quick. <laughs> 90 firing here for Dusty Scarab. Oh, wait, yeah, you could have actually have the uh, the luscious heavy, right? This only shoots in threes, but its caliber is very powerful. Here we go. Oh yeah, true, true. Um, we have medic, hell gun, volley, and hell pistol. Hell gun. Uh, What's the difference? Is it the weakness? Or is it abilities they get? I think it's the abilities they get from it. Hell gun and volley come with a built-in gun. Hell pistol might be a shield. Oh, fuck. Look at that. That thing looks awesome. <laughs> Is it just... Which just has... okay. 
Now I pray for extended periods without reloading. Yeah, no backpack, but so what? Um, uh, you can use grenades though, and. You can have a couple of those. I don't know what else to give you. We don't have a too much extra. Heretic's crying right now. Okay, the volley gives you the hot shot volley gun, which I can't look at. Um. Alright, and then the other one is a hell pistol. Laz pistol boasts superior range and power output compared to the standard Laz pistol. Advanced power cells grant the weapon greater performance against armored targets. And coupled to a separate backpack, power supply available. Okay, so this is like a very powerful pistol. You can like do a wield with like say that. Or not the officer's chain sword. Um, honestly, a mall might not be a bad idea since we do need to take some alive, but we don't have a prison yet. Power fist is hilarious. Um, I guess a combat knife will work for now. And a couple grenades. Smoking bill. Let's give it to the people who have, like, absurd firing accuracies, like Coach here. Give you a hell gun. Connie wants to be a medic, so medic you up and give you that flamer. Give you a give you a crack grenade. All right, let's see here. 89 for Roush, give you a volley, and two grenades, right? Medical immolation. Oviers, give you the hell gun, a couple grenades. like a ton, so give you a hell gun as well, empty eye, and username could have the volley. Alright, that only leaves like three people without a built-in weapon or something like that. Crazy. Alright, smoke and build does not have one yet. Let's just pattern Laz gun. We might go with this Laz gun here extra oomph charge in it. Um, lots of grenades for smoking Bill. Strength. Oh, here we go. Shinji's got that sweet strength. Alright. Gonna give you the uh, uh, yeah, Saturn this little lawn chair. Let's put a crack missile in it. I don't want anti armor. A uh, little bit of each, I guess. Its own power pack and not the regular power pack? Yeah. Oh, you're right. The poor actor's name? A little bit. Alright, Officer's Chain Sword for Astro Boy. And the. All Officer's pistols, essentially. So, get you that. Give you a smoke grenade to cover yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, R-dub. Um... That's a little too heavy. Do, do, do. We already have that. I just go with the heavy stubber with you. 
That's true, Kalakaku. That is also true. I always forget about uh, teaming people up with stuff like that. Um, if we team up our dub with that... Uh, One of each extra should be good. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, that's the officer's power sword. I forgot about that. We have both an officer's chain sword and a power sword. But I think you should get the power sword. More fitting. Mm -hmm. uh, I will have you carry one extra. Our dub. Like those extra rounds and give you a flame. Unless that we can give you that. You have two flamers out there. Um <laughs> Yeah, who's got the uh that one? Nope, it uses the same one. Um, I'll give you this instead, right? Better version of it. Plus, now you can carry an extra of crack grenade. Hey, Tremaine, thank you so much for that. Raid, welcome everybody from Tremaine Street. How you doing? Greetings. that. Grab a couple more grenades. Pal world. <laughs> hey, Buffle Shuffle. Uh, it's really well. Mostly today has been spent doing lore, but and completing the list and learning things. But so far, and we got wiped once. That was fun. But uh, so far, it's been really fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give you the pistol. You have decent enough throwing. Give a grenadier type. A couple extra crack grenades as well. All right. Yeah, there's a lot to learn here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. Nardub and Shinji could be the unit. Maybe we give you the stub rifle. That way you could sit back with them. I still have all that. Wait, what do you have an Oh yeah, because that was your original gun. Uh, those two, and we will give you a frag grenade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, let's start do like this actually. Frag, okay. Do, do, do. Okay. What? <laughs> it's true. Yes, thank you, Ellie. Absolutely. Pull its punches, I like it though. Just for the enemies. Alright, so, uh, we got all that. I don't know exactly what armaments to put on top of here yet. I got these three turrets. I don't know if they're supposed to go on here. I don't think so, but... Oh yeah, I would love to see a fixed version of that, uh, game. Pirates. Pirates. <laughs> But until then, I am in the 40k land. Alright, um... So now we got everybody hooked up again. I think it's time to accept Stormtrooper Requisition. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, we've accepted it. Just... Oh, now we can, uh, we can hire Stormtroopers and they bring frag grenades. Yeah, no, the gameplay is fine. 
I don't mind most of the nudity, although it's extremely excessive. Um, but it was more of the offensive stuff that I just didn't care for. Uh, oh, we need a lot of Imperial tokens for that. Wait, no? Hey, why can't I do it? Oh, we don't have the money? We have plenty of money. Oh, they bring an advanced carapace hell gun with them, too. Oh, wait, I'm full on people, aren't I? I'm actually over. <laughs> Shh. Unfortunately, a lot of the enemy miles are. Ow. Oh. It, it, it takes so much work. Craft multi laser. Can I equip that on the Taurus? I can. Excellent. Wait, that's for outside battle, though. I want to equip these things for inside battle stuff. Does that mean I just have to throw it on here like this? And then just on it then when we go into battle? I think that might be it. Uh, 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 uh. Crack missiles, plasma. Got the twin heavy bolter on there. <laughs> Valkyrie, uh. Same thing, okay. Alright. There's our large one again on the ground. Oh, it's on the ground this time, though. Uh-oh. Uh. Yeah, a lot of damage capacity. It's got a shield. Nice. Oh, it doesn't have a shield, it's just flashed. Alright. Plus one firing accuracy and reaction for Tolbert in there. Alright, we have a first mission again. Are we missing? Oh no, we have one of the other people, right? Alright, hopefully we do better this time. <laughs> Hold on to your butts, everybody. There is so much in this game. Control the operation site. Force Commander, the mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. We did, sir. The mission return all units. <laughs> we did. Alright, let's see who we're facing here. Lots of grenades this time. Gotta be more. Using these grenades, methinks. Uh, Alright, oh my goodness. Oh, wow, okay. Who is this? Traitor Guardsman? That dude has some rocket launchers on him. Oh man, it actually starts pushing some of our units out of the craft, too. No dino might! Not yet. Yeah, there's a lot of them out here, but they only have, like, swords. Which... Alright, uh, well, obviously, I want to start with killing this whatever the hell it is. the side nice nowhere to hide uh, oh my god they all blow up yeah Um... 
like this dude and then this dude are like the only ones with guns at the moment. So that I can see anyway. Let's try. Design of this? Uh, yes. This kind of looks like the last one we took down. I mean, it's definitely TFTD used, but mod modified. But the front of it, definitely TFTD. Yep. You did hit them. Butch. And Coach come out here. Uh, they seem to explode, which is I gotta lie, it's a little scary. Now you need an aim shot with forty. You can auto show with this? I'll make sure he knows you did. I guess if you have bigger missiles, but that's neat still. Astro Boy. have a shield now though I do see that making it so sir box received I that hit twice yeah nice I wouldn't stress about it I wouldn't stress about it come on I am stressing Over here. I don't want us to die get out here Dude's taking a lot of hits, but he's not quite down. Um, nice shot. The book at top right corner do for Astro Boy. I am here to purge the unclean. Oh, you can inspire. Just inspire people. That's neat. This is often one of the harder starts just because your men are more valuable than you often fight harder enemies quicker, yeah. I can see that. And okay, they're all over on that side now. Yeah, you go do like sit out here or something. That one is like right. That was a four times the power shot. Uh, oh my goodness, that one actually did explode before they exploded. Interesting. Come on! Try to keep up. This isn't going to end well. That's the spirit. because we're like right at the front of their thing too. Uh, there's nothing left out this way so we could use that as cover. It'll be historica in no fraction. Nice shot. Ed? But don't when you knock them out, yeah. Yeah, we do have one knocked out, which is cool. They're probably gonna charge us like up, yeah? a bunch of fools, but.
much I can do against that. Um, I think that's it. I think we've all really done what we can do this turn. Yeah, go this way. Nice miss there, I'll take that. Oh, grenade at us. better turn than I was expecting. Huh. Um, They don't blow up when you fire them either. Ah! Boom. Nicely done, Coveers. I embody the Emperor's wrath. I embody Emperor's wrath. Nice good shooting our dub. I'll be no doubt as to the outcome. Nice shooting again, our dub. Let's give you. Oh, that's a crack missile, but. Sure. There's our dub. Our, there, oh, yeah, you're right next to them. Throw rockets to them. Um, Making it so, sir. That's your Kurzo of Empty Eye and Shinji. Oh, Kurzo. Alright. Yeah. Turn, I guess, to see what happens. Perfect. Uh, 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 uh. Dub, uh, Shinji, Coach. Got this jerk up here. Gotta be, I think, more left to see them. Yeah. Yeah, Coach. Hopefully, they won't missile you too hard here. Crouch. I am here to purge the unclean. idea. Best throw, but hopefully it does something. Eight. Um. The clock is ticking. Let's go. Leave this to a professional. I'll push you out of your misery. Let's try. Again. Uh, oh yeah, the turrets haven't gone yet. Yeah, get rid of that asshole. Absolutely. Uh, 
Nice grenade. Somehow the last free runner didn't get credit for that. Or who was that who did that? Uh, oh, was it? No. It was Lunk. Oh, Lunk already had credit. I've got intel on our target. Oh, this dude woke up. I'm sure we can keep each other. Um. Alrighty. Fine. I wouldn't stress about it. The best of human hands. Try to keep up. We chose in few. There. To perfection, so. Go. Vectoring to new coordinates. Just gonna get a bit of movement up here. They don't blow up in melee. Yeah, I think it's similar to XCOM's normal. Uh, not be out there. But actually, yeah, you should be here though. Be the dir directing Sorry. him into battle. Uh, Dusty Scarab. Okay. Bonk. Bonk. This isn't going to end well. Uh, of S free runner. I'm not missing anybody. Have the turrets both look that way. I think Blast Free Runner got a response there, so it's just an MTI and Shinji now. Alright, username. I really like these heavy ones that have the three shots. Beat, 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 beat. Oh god! Alright, Dusty Scarab's the first to die again. Neat. Consistency, I guess. Oh, the Emperor! The clock is ticking. Let's go. What that does. I'm gonna inspire people though. Let your aim be true, Tempestus. Let's fall off beyond five right now. Took its first L. Yeah, I can't quite flame that. They can also miss. Oh. I am here to purge the unclean. How did you miss? How in the absolute shittle tittle did you miss that? How did you miss an inspire? that. Uh, Dan Highland. Get your ass over to here. God, Connie, look out. Those are rockets. 
Hey, Jesus Christ. Connie's a fucking tank in herself. What the fuck? Not for much longer, but, uh, yeah. Do we have another medic here? Are we done warming up yet? I don't know I if we do. I don't think we do. I should have got I'm another sure medic. Uh, alright, well. You have four turns. Uh, no, probably less since you're on fire. Alright, it does not hurt that. Good. Good to know. That isn't the right person. Oh. Oh no. Well, I probably just blew up a ton of what we were camping here for, but, uh, you know, it happens. Immobilizing target! Let's see how this works now. Oh, it takes a lot of energy to do that, though. Yeah. I like that PP7 noise from Goldeneye. This way. Good mm -hmm. ability also cause self stun. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. Alright, learning. Sorry, Connie, I hope your shield uh, or whatever is going on there helps you out for a turn, because you're going to be dead. Mm hmm. If we can win this turn, we can save them. Okay, nothing back there. Now one of these MFs. Nice. Good shooting, Coveers. Okay, nothing there. Alright. Oh. Hello. I like how you just get a knife for melee, no matter what. Kind of nice. The clock is ticking. Let's go. Clock is indeed ticking. Um, Ryan here. Done warming up yet? Oh, hello. Not done. Guess we could try to get a snapshot off to kill one of those dudes, but other than that, I don't know. We're gonna this one, Shinji. You did get credit for that, so at least you got credit. Making it so, sir. Making it so, sir. Astro go to their unfortunate body. Hit them. For might and glory. Oh, county. Poor county. Damn, that 
thing fucks him up. Holy shit. Oh, what is this? Greater Guardsman? Can you just... You can just melee at any time, right? Okay, that's neat. Is there CQC in this? Or is that not in this? Alright, 23 kills. We lost a Mechanicus, and we lost two units. We got some Adamantium Components, Chaos Shrine, Plasma Reactors, Warp Stones, Ceramite Plates, and Warp Drives. Our last free runner, Dan Highland, Lunk, Kurzov, Smokin' Bill Murray, Username Unknown, D.I. Roush, Coach, Kovir, Zardub, Shinji, and Astro Boy with the stat ups. And a ton of stat ups than this. Look at all them strengths going up. Hell yeah. Hell Pistol without Power Pack. Chaos Bolt Pistols. Chaos Shrine. Chaos Shotgun. Chaos Ripper Gun. Combat Knife. Frag Grenades. Crack Grenades. Warp Drives. Imperial Token. Oh, you get Imperial Tokens. Nice. Plasma Reactor. Traitor Ogren Corpse. Corpse. Six Battle Servitor Corpses. And two Chaos Penetrator Corpses. Um, we can get most of that. So for the Smoke Grenade. Dusty Scarab and Connie, I'm sorry. <sighs> Next time I'll remember to actually bring more medics. You should have lived through that. <laughs> All right, we actually got a mission complete. I'm sure we got 6,000 things to research at this point. All right, Wait, well done, everybody. For the Emperor! Scarab, thank you for your uh, duty. You'll be back shortly, I have a feeling. Adepts, excellent. Um. God, a lot of this takes a lot of time. I do want the smoke grenades. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Two servers. Oh, they can medic as well. This is also a smaller vehicle comparatively. Yeah, it is. Alright. And Torox. It's got its stuff. Alright. Deserter hideout detected. Doesn't give you an info. Deserter hideout. Yeah. Hey, Cooler. It's going well. How are you doing today? Let's get you on that list. Sly Marbo, I swear. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and put yeah, another servitor on there. And the next two up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Curse of you here having some strengths. Smoking Bill Murray, got lots of grenades. Username. DI, Coach, Tolerin, we're gonna make you a medic. Change says absolutely nothing. So that works out perfectly. Or R dub, I'm sorry. Shinji, um. I'm gonna get rid of this for now. Um. You have 36 strength now, though, which is awesome, so I'm gonna give you the heavy stubber. Base mission build, big single building with a good number of dudes. Okay, I will be back. Um, might as well just be medics. I mean, your reactors go down, but I'd like the ability to heal if we get hurt. And medics, of course, get flamethrowers. What else would they get? And, uh, and frag grenades. Um, 
Actually, we're probably not going to use that. Take a combat knife instead. <clears throat> Alright, Lord Emperor Posh King Marza. Also just going to give you the medic. You have incredibly good firing. Accuracy. Um... I'm going to give you the pistol and actually a stun maul here and some grenades a heretic to live all right an astro boy um got the grenade and the officer's power sword um you got a lot more uh weight to you now so I kind of like the Lucius pattern las guns with the uh, extra oomph to their shot. I guess I'm out of the uh, extra. Yeah. Right. Where is your flavor? <laughs> I should have given them a flavor. Um. Actually, with 90 accuracy, that's that's a good point. I really should actually snipe with you. <laughs> You're really good at shooting, so... Can you pre-prime grenades? Uh, maybe in the other screen, but you can't hear. Uh, but probably? Just have another smoke and a crack grenade. Uh... Okay, we have three medics this time. Two are just outright snipers. And one is a flamer, and I will be back. Alright. Uh, probably take us a little while to get over there, so... So it did say you could kind of look out for uh, stuff out here. No twin heavy bolter ammo. Rearm. Can I purchase twin heavy bolter ammo? I can. There we go. Wow, that thing goes fast. I guess you can just go out looking for stuff, right? Stubber magazine fragments. Grenades. That's gonna take a while. Tarantula Hyperios. Okay, what the hell is a Tarantula Hyperios? Um. I can't put it on there. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but. It's something. Be interested to see what it is. It costs a ton. I think it's a turret or a tank, right? Weapons requisition. The LAS gun. The LAS gun, also sometimes referred to as a LAS rifle, is a directed energy anti personnel weapon used by the military forces of the Imperium of Man, and it is the most common and widely used type of laser weapon in the galaxy. Missile turret. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Laz cannon, melt a gun, light melt a ammo. Laz cannon sounds like something that's pretty important to get, but holy shit, is that gonna take a while? Flashlights! <laughs> yep. Hot shot volley gun. God, these things take a fucking year to learn. Um. Oh yeah, that's the beginner mode thing. Chaos, bolt pistols, into the dark god's path, huh? Uh, craft, advanced radical, advanced turbo fans, shield and impulser. Tanith requisitions. 
Uh, Toro's Drop Requisition. Gives you Elysian Jump Armor Requisition, okay. Regiment Missions gives us a Mission Riot Suppression. That's very easy to do, so this feels like an early one. Light Melt Ammo and Hot Shot Power Cells are now available to make. No rats. It is a damn shame there's no rats in this. I don't want to do it at night yet. Not this far away from home. Alright. You can indeed do that. Do they blow up in your hands in this if you have that pre-primed without throwing? I do not know. I mean, if I ended the turn. Uh, there are Tyranids, yes. Uh, good, 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 good. Thank you. Just smoke then, Capitaine. And, um... We got a lot of the heavier stuff here, which is nice. Alright. Uh, what do we see? We see a Death Skull's Orc. Okay, so Orcs are scary. Alright, there's a building here. Uh, oh, Adeptus Scoped Auto Gun. Oh boy, okay. Oh, hey! Death Skull's Orc. Death Skull's Orc, Death Skull's Orc. The boys are here! Oh my god, that thing just evaporated. You actually don't see any of them, so you can't get an arm in it. Oh. 1%'s better than nothing, baby! Alright. Uh, well, what we can do is come around the back side of the ship. Kind of wait out their turn. Um. Oh, there's another one up there. Nice shot. Force character. Absolutely. Um Yeah, I'm good with letting y'all come over here. That don't bother me. Alright, um the first Nice shooting, Marza. Oof. Right, nice try. Try to keep up. Are dead. I'll make sure they know who hit. Nice. Oop. Oh. Fix this. All right, uh, Dan Highland. Yeah, that ain't happening. Not from here. All right. Mm hmm. Smash the humies! Mind the duck. Alright. Yeah, that ain't happening with that gun from here. 
This is a huge, lengthy battlefield right here. Ready to engage. Next orders received. <laughs> Especially if you see a knob. The orcs are pretty good in melee, I hear. And yeah, the problem is, is, look how far they all are away. Like, I can't fight that with the, a lot of the equipment we currently have. But, we have turrets! So, I will just keep shooting y'all from here if I have to. Alright, I do have an idea, though. We could start smoking our way to the... <laughs> we engage in flamer rain. Yeah, pretty much. Um... Mm -hmm. It costs eight time units to get out of your backpack in this. Um. Hopefully these uh, grenades hold up a little bit. Give it a little try. Uh, I'll find out. <laughs> All right. Perfect. What did that say? Alright, you see that one over there. Okay, we'll bring you back over here. Uh, uh, uh support servitor. Dan Highland, get your ass over here. Alright, officer. Get moving. Uh, you... I have all the ability to just chill here and fire from the ship. That's fine. You can stay there. Shinji, you're coming out here, though. Um, Roush, get your ass going over there. Colviers, get your ass going over there. Those with your regiment, finding them useful playing through with the standard Imperial Guard? Uh, hopefully. Alright. Just stay back. Stay in smoke for now. You're... Keep that coverage. And that's going to blow up shortly over there and give us even more coverage. Mm-hmm. Not enough munitions. We are out of munitions for these things. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, replacements reloading three turns left. I see, I see. Covers, no. No. You already used your both. No. Definitely want to get smoke grenades then. These seem to be very, very helpful. As is no surprise ever <laughs> in a game based almost entirely on line of sight. Mm-hmm. Ready to apply our skills. Firepower in volume. Nice. Oh shit. What do you have? Not shot valley gun. Oh, and you got the other one, okay. 
You can probably see that sure one, right? Not hit it though. Let's try our dub. So, Alright, uh, let's see how that Inspire thingy works here. Who's out of time units? Roush. Alright. Only the faithful shall win the day. Yeah. It absolutely does give you time units back. <laughs> That's awesome. Jesus. Alright. What do you need for oh you need a 45 just to shoot that thing. Alright, let's get you. Right there then. Uh I will be back. Get your flamer up for um, get you there, there. I'm pretty much staying the smoke for now. Got intel on our target. Uh, 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 uh. Hopefully we do not get blown up or anything. Trying to What's stay in the middle of this. Here's the name you got the other here? wild ass hell gun. Awesome. As you wish. Right. You went. Oh. Anybody get hurt? I don't think so. But we do see you now. Let's try, alright. Roush. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Ready to apply our skills. Hellgun reporting, sir. No line of fire. Command acknowledged. Oh god, I gotta remember you gotta basically just Yeah. Harbor no doubt as to the outcome. Dig yourself in there. Um, I could throw a grenade up and blow that all up. I do not want to, though. Okay, let's get you up here. Ready to engage. Your time is up. Nice try, empty eye. Make sure he knows who hit me. Making it so, sir. Nope. I'm way too far out there. Oh. Your time is up. Nice try. Use the name unknown at this time. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got the bigger gun, which causes more shots. Uh, oh, wait. Did not, uh... Don't see anything there. Okay. Okay, I see that. Alright. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, who had the gun that you, Shinji? Oh, you can't even shoot it. Let's pick that out of it. Hopefully that'll help you shoot it next turn. Nice try. That's fine. I'm gonna get you up to the... There, and... Zero percent doesn't mean you can't hit. Just means it's harder to hit, that's all. 
<laughs> Saw that coming. Immobilizing targets. Vectoring to new coordinates. Oh, you have smokes, but I'm gonna save them at this point. Uh oh. Oh man. That looks like a big gun that can't hit from that range very well, but will probably hit us at least one. Wait, didn't you not open the door? What the hell? Laz gun and a rocket launcher or something? I'll make sure they know who won. Alright, Astro Boy. Um Glutton for punishment. I can I probably get you to inspire. See, what's your chance to hit this one? Twenty-nine. That's probably the best chance we got at the moment. I am ever vigilant. <sighs> Helvetius, right? Let your aim be true. I'll put you out of your misery. Nice try. Nice try. Special cat boy is panicking. All right. Can you actually shoot with this gun this turn? You can't. Why? Why are you losing time units? You're not... Interesting. Saw that coming. I bring you the light of glory and truth. By the emperor, it will be done. Now you can shoot it. Holy shit, let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, man, that thing is great. 25 burst. All right, let's just only move ourselves up here. I've got intel on our target. The best that you had. Okay, Roush. Getting you to there. Over Get you up to the sh to the as well. Coach, get you over here. Shinji. Yeah, it does have a bipod, but I think he, that's a gun that actually needs a second person to help out. Oh, no, uh, nothing in your hands, son. Got 99 problems with that orc, ain't one. No, there you are. It's hard to see you sometimes in the smoke. The smoke lasts a while, too. Very, very useful. Um. Last three hundred and nine lunkers. I love that Astro boy. Yes, most. So last free runner time. first. Where are you? There you are. All right. This is the closest one to you. It's all the way up top. Okay, Dan Highland. It's probably a lot of our, yeah, uh, these boys. That hit, though. Awesome. Okay, Lunk. Ooh, I wish I could get that over there. How much does it take? 17 to throw that? throw it should be should be good maybe not i don't know how much the radius the grenades yeah, are 
With all due haste. Um. I am ever vigilant. Okay. Okay, Curse of. Okay, here's Curse of. Immobilizing target. Watch your step. Nice try. Excellent. All right. I will be back in Astro Boy. Oh, it doesn't count to inspire. Okay. There's I will be back with the flamer. Get you out here as well. Watch your step. Resisting only makes it worse. All right. Well, you got credit now. Now, Astro Boy. I wouldn't stress about it. I wouldn't stress about it. Headshot, baby. All right. Just last free runner in Lunk now. Yeah, most people just chill. I think it's. Oh, there's last free runner. Um. Are we done warming up yet? A lunk to the grenade, right? All right, last few runners. It sentinels, yes, and emplaced guns. Ooh, I knew it. we did have the emplaced gun before. All right, so we need a last free runner. You gotta go way up here, son. Nice, okay, we got everybody, let's go. <laughs> well, you did hit them. Ready to apply our skills. I hit? No, it did not. Huh. Target signed, making it dead. A shot. Nice try. Astro Boy, that was a good shot in there. Get you over to here. Can't inspire currently. Alright, so you're finished. Good. Get you up here. Smoking Bill, empty eye. And username unknown. Van Hyland. Oh, Norker in here? Ooh. I don't, oh, we see it through there, don't we? That was a quadruple amount of damage we just did there. But Roush is right here. Hello! Jesus. Okay. Can I get you uh, to go away from there, please? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay. Maybe we can slip it behind you then a little bit. Uh, well, that's really unfortunate. Um, what is here? This next to you that is making you not move. That's nothing. Alright. Your will be done. Vectoring to new coordinates. Mm -hmm. It is pretty chunky. Nice, good shot, coach. Holy, holy. Oof. Uh, 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 uh. I wouldn't, uh, 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 uh. I 
wouldn't stress about it. Ho, ho, ho. Ho. Now I've got a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Lunk. Um... Yeah, I don't think we need to use another grenade. Oh man, this pistol. Oh, it did damage! You see that? Shit, this thing did damage. Time is up. Let's it's 16. Alright. Let's dance indeed. <laughs> I love the flavor in this. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Sure, boy, come on here, Commissar. Kamasa, Kamasa. The clock is ticking. Every time I turn and look around, around. Every time I look around, every time I look around. Been a while since I heard that song. Damn, that's a fucking sweet gun. Okay. Ready to apply our skills. Get over there with your lasers, man. Nice shooting, coach. The mission is to get your ass over here and shoot at this boy. Well, you should probably cover that. You haven't really not looked anywhere else here, but everything's been panicking, so I've not been too worried. Oh, you're the one with the... Oh, Shinji actually got full time units in that turn. Maybe you don't get it when you're kneeling already? Weird, but... Oh, God! They got out of panic quick and fucking blew up last free runner into a pulpy mist. Holy shit. I'm sure we can keep Sorry, uh last free runner. Jesus Christ. That was uh That was a little brutal. Yeah, you're both medics all the way back here, that's right. Scions no, no fear. Damn. One fucking turn away from a flawless mission. 13 killed. Some artifacts seized. We lost last free runner, very unfortunately. That was some... That was what we call nonsense and tomfoolery. Dead Highland Lump Curzo, Smoking Bill, Username, Empty Eye, Roush, Coach, Coveers, R-Dub, Shinji, I will be back, Lord Emp, <laughs> and Astro Boy with the stat. Oops! Lots more strength and stamina and time units and HPs again. Uh, pump, a pump action shotgun, wow. Auto stubber, adeptus scoped auto gun, assault stubber, shot pistol, officer's power sword, officer's chainsword, tank busta, rocket stick, okay. I was like, like so that, that's a rocket stick. Choppa, stick bombs, crack stick bomb, imperial token. Acetran, Pattern, Laz Gun, la, uh, Bolt Pistol, Spectrus Pattern, Death Skulls, Cap, Corpse, Flash Gets Corpse. Yeah. Flamer, Chemical Fuel, Smoke Grenade, and... and oh yeah, we definitely want Chemical Fuel and Stubber Magazines. Oh, we need more uh, storage. Rest in peace, last free runner. For the upper. All right. Twin heavy bolter ammo, good. Good. All right, we're back home, everybody. Means coach is out for four days, but that's it. So far, so good. Okay, let's take off... Uh, I can just equip two more, actually. 
All right, how's our research going? Good and unknown. We... General stores is finished. Great, now we can actually have more storage. Um, I might build another one. It seems like they fill up quickly, so let's just throw one in there. They're not too expensive. Regiment missions. Training exercise. Regiment of the Imperial Guard must be trained in disciplined fighting force. Regular drills are necessary to keep your troops in fighting condition. Once you have completed this firing exercise, you will be assigned further missions. Objective, practice firing. Okay. Seems pretty simple. I want smoke grenades. Our... Arbitus communication disrupted. Communications with several local Arbitus precincts have recently been disrupted in conjunction with the arrival of some Space Hulk debris in orbit. This might be the work of Chaos Cults using the warp disturbances for cover. Interesting. Smoke grenade requisition. Alright, so now we have smoke grenades. That should help us uh, cover... Battlefields, uh, motion scanner, chaos shrine, reactors, warp stones, melt -a gun, Taurus drop requisition, accept regimental commissions, convert commission to promotion, officer requisition, hot shot volley gun. All right, let's do the officer. And I would like some smoke grenades, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Let's scion to scion officer. I retire here. Okay, I don't have it here. But it's a good idea train please um okay <laughs> pre guardsman requisition uh so we can actually get a lot more uh smaller recruits too which I should probably do at some point but well three more days or one more day to the living quarters Hey, I'm gonna build another one of those too. Let's get ten more uh, peoples on our roster. Hey, how much is that? Six, so sixty. Yeah, that ain't nothing. Oh, that was quick. All right, and we can also re uh, requisition some a couple of stormtroopers. Let's do that. Very small upper atmosphere southeast, so let's send the lightning at it. Mm hmm. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, hello. Alright, we're getting you out of here. That is way too damaging for you. And the Valkyrie. They just sent them both at the same time. Medium overseas, huh? Yeah, but you're here, so. There it goes. Destroyed. Back from the store with hot sauce. Nice. Low altitude medium craft. Okay. Alright, you're out of stuff. Try to get the other plane in here to take this thing down. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. 
Whew, okay. Took a chance. We got it. We got it. Alright. We're the Emperor, everybody. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, we're gonna take the Guardsmen off for the moment for some troopers. Wow, your strength has gone up significantly there, Curzo. Uh, 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 mm. It's a two-handed gun. Get these out of here. Get your frag out of here. Um, I'll give you a power fist, even. I had space for it. Go punch somebody. Uh, but I think I'm going to be a crack grenade and probably a dagger. Uh, you were the first one to die again, Dusty Scarab. Congratulations. I don't know how this keeps happening, but it did. Grenades are big. It's hard to fit them in here. If I had a backpack, it'd be easier, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, this thing requires some serious, like, strength and time units and stuff to use. The Lucius Heavy Stubber. No, not for you. I play Stubbers with the much more disposable heroes, yes! Incredibly so. Um, <laughs> we just don't have a lot of different weapons right now, so I guess you're just gonna have to deal with using that. Um, I'm taking one of your frag grenades out to give you. A chain sword in your backpack. <laughs> Username unknown at this time. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with y'all using those gun packs. They're really nice. Coach, grab yourself a one of each grenade. R dub, you can give yourself crack grenade as well now. Jinji, you can almost hold that now. Mm -hmm. Army of squishy ants, yes, yeah, seriously. I will be back. Flamethrower edition. Um, I think I might give our dub a flamethrower as well. I don't know what it is about medics, but them with flamethrowers just makes sense to me. I guess you can carry those in case we have uh, anything extra for that. Why not? Doubt it, but uh, you pippy here. 34 strength. I didn't quite enjoy the stub rifle for picking off some units at a distance. That was nice. Um, mm -hmm. Let's give you the heavy stubber. Nah, not the heavy stubbers. Uh, um, hmm. Actually, I think I'd prefer you with the heavy stubber anyway. And Bo Martin with that good firing accuracy. I think we need more stub rifle rounds. Um, let's get some more of that. Stubber tracer magazines for the auto pistol. No, that's the auto pistol. I think that's incendiary for the stub rifle, maybe? Mm hmm. In case they need to cauterize any wounds, I suppose that's fair. Um, let's see here. Craft multi-laser, yona yona shnada plata. Proxy grenades might be something to look into. In the future, for sure. Let's get some frack and crack grenade, crack grenades. Um... 
Alright. Once we have more melee attuned units, I'll definitely be going into that. Uh, uh the Acetran missile launcher. Uh, with a little more strength, we'll start using the missiles. Um... I still don't know what the Multilis turret, bolter turret, and whole mounted bolter are for. Hopefully we'll figure out someday. Alright. Oh yeah, the fucking... Tarantula Hyperios. Let's take uh, the U3 off and put this on. Oh, this can't take a heavy weapons platform thingy? And... What's the other option here? The Lightning, right? Or no, the Valkyrie has... Uh... It can bring that. It, it does take four spaces. Uh, the one thing I did like about the Pirate's Mod is like everything is just available down here. I did like that. <laughs> Made it much easier to go between ships without... You know, taking everything off one ship and going to another one. Alright, so we got a Tarantula Hyperios. And, uh... Oh, that's what the Twin Bolter ammo is. Okay. I also want to see what kind of drop area the helicopter has compared to the, uh, the other thing. Salt Stubber. <laughs> Whole pup carbine optimized for airborne operations, both greater accuracy and handling than typical carbine. Yeah. <laughs> equipment. Uh, let's take off crew. Oh, I think I took off crew from everything. <laughs> Whoopsie. Alright. Uh, how many pilots does this one need? Two? Do we have that still? Okay. Alright, inventory, no, 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 crew, let's get it from the bottom up this time, give some other people some chances, and equipment-wise, we're gonna probably just have to take off most of the shit here, just make it easier. Alright, um, once again, I'm just throwing everything out for now, since I don't know what half of this stuff even does, so we might as well just look at it. I'm sure we're going to need to actually uh, research some of these, but just easier to add everything on now. There we go. Alright. Lazy booking our pilot. Um, oh, the assault stubber. Look at all that. 55 for that beast. Adeptus Scoped Auto Gun. What kind of ammo does it take? Can I purchase auto gun magazines? I can. Oh, that's auto pistol. There's auto gun. Hey, S.A. Uh, Jägen. I think you need to go to soldiers, and then the bottom left where it says soldier info, switch to inventory? Oh, you mean just a... Oh, will this permanently give them something? Oh yeah, I guess that would actually do everything, wouldn't it? Huh. I could just make sure I have it on the right people. Okay, well, that's helpful. Thank you, let's get you on that list. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. All right, uh, all right then. Let's see, uh, so we do have a scoped adeptus, which isn't really like super powerful. However, it is something with decent accuracy that doesn't weigh too much for our pilots to have here. Have a smoke and a crack. Uh huh. Oh, some West got some strength, though. 
Not that there's a whole lot to choose from, but... Oh, yeah, that one. Um, uh, a couple of smokes. Uh, uh, oh wait, Sun West isn't on this. Well, let's find out if it works. It does. So that should actually be quite helpful in the future. Kinda. You still have to put it on the ship, though. So it's like... This is still a good way to do... Oh, well, I... Yeah, but, yeah, you're gonna have stuff to put the actual pieces on the ship, which is the one part that's unfortunate. Which, uh, coach is the first one? Alright, uh, uh, well, I might as well do it this way. Alright, coach, you got, uh, the hell gun, which is quite nice. Same with Kovirs, you got a flamethrower R-dub. You, Shinji, got a heavy stubber. Flamer, Lord Emperor's got a sniper. Uh, your Pippi's also got a heavy stubber. Bo Martin also has a sniper. Though. I can have quite a bit here, probably. Um. Hmm. I'll give you the Assassin Pattern Lasgun. Still takes the same power cells, right? Yeah, it still saves the same power cells as these, so. Let's empty some of them out. What's the difference? Why is this 8 and this 7? Oh, because they're empty. Never mind. No ammo, duh! Mm-hmm. Oh, those are knuckles. Where is our ammo for these ghoul? Hard to see down here sometimes. There it is. Plaz gun. Do you want extra ammo there? Although you're probably very much not likely to finish that. That's fine. There we go. It's, uh, it's really good, Kurzov. And no, you're not dead yet. Well, it works because it's on the... Yeah. That's the one issue. Alright, Slaves of Fear. Another good shooting individual. Um... Humbag Genetic does a 40 times 6 standard. That's pretty good. Um... Hmm. Oh. We don't have any more ammo for that. Uh, oh, we could auto stuff. Oh yeah, that's for the. Uh, was, uh, okay. Weird. Man, scroll down to extend an alternate craft equipment management. That should be what you want. Oh. Mm -hmm. If enabled, moving soldiers between a base and a craft will move their equipment too, if possible. Okay, yeah, that would actually that would actually benefit. Thank you. That way, I can actually just switch them between vehicles, and they'll keep what they have. All right. Mm hmm. Yo, Nessie! Thank you for the best of luck. I appreciate that very much. How are you doing, Nessie? How you doing? There we go. Do, do, do. All right, slaves of fear. Ooh, there's a small version of the bolt or powerful into inside arm bolt pistols I've seen service. Got an aim shot. 
All right, slaves. Um. Okay, you'd use this kind, all right. I was gonna give you a melee with it, but that's pretty, pretty heavy. This one is much less heavy. Probably not nearly as good. However, you can get an officer's power sword with it. And uh, a smoke and uh, a crack grenade. All right, I think we've officially put a unit together. How good they will do, I do not know, but a little tired from early work or early wake up, but had a good weekend. That's good. That's good. Alright. Oh, yeah. It's nighttime. I don't want to go nighttime. Yet. Alright. Looks like we got a. Oh, yeah. Training. Each barracks should be another tent training, right? Oh, wait. What gives you training? Oh, that's living quarters, not a barracks. Oh. I can't make another barracks. Oh. At least not yet. <laughs> Alright, well, we got uh, a ton more recruits. <laughs> Problem is they don't get amazing armor like the other ones, so hopefully they live. Animal, welcome into the game. They get psionic abilities, though. Lord Valkar. I like the psionic abilities for Yeah, six, five, three, five, eight, F. Aria Spendius. Shogofu. Uh, 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 uh. We got Zoda. And Super Fry. Mmm. Uh, Arno Bardo. Du -du -du. Uh, Garonis. I think Garonis specifically wanted some. I can't remember at this point. Uh, Surrealistic. There we go. Alright, Kalakaku. <laughs> uh, Gudok. There we go. Oh, wait. Nope. I just went over somebody's name, didn't I? Uh, oopsie. Whose name was that? Uh, 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 uh. There was a ton of lazy booking. That's what it was. Oopsie. There we go. Alright. Alright, we're in there. We're new recruits are going. Let's go ahead and get our Valkyrie into another battle here. Well, it's first battle. Zeal and Fury to control the operation site. Force Commander, the mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. To abort the mission, return all units to the transport vehicle and click on the abort mission icon. The enemy craft was heavily damaged. That it, what the heck? Looks like somebody had uh, missiles in their thing for a second there. Valkyrie heavy bolter. Oh. Alright, now I got this thing here. Oh, it's more like a traditional- oh my god, what in the fuck? Uh... How do you move? What the fuck? Uh... What are you doing here? I if you can't move? Oh yeah, true. True. 
All right, just more traitor guardsmen. That's good. Um. We're also gonna get you over to here. Yeah. All right, Lord Emperor. No, I should actually get your smoke grenade ready this time, El Capi Ten. Oopsie. Alright. Alright. Lazy booking. Let's get this out of ya. What do you got here? Uh, Trader Guardsman. Alright. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that yet. Uh, I'm gonna keep you there, Mars, as a sniper. It? Can't even aim shot at that distance and hit it. Pushing ahead. Um. Oh, it's under the wing. Oh, you can use that as a fucking wall. Oh my god, that's amazing. All right. <laughs> Uh, I apparently can't move the, the, the tarantula. I'm curious. Um, seems to be a bit of an anti-air unit. All right. But follow! A little far away. Mm -hmm. Prime that, throw it out here. There we go. Alright, let's get moving. Let's get a moving, oh baby. Oh. Mm hmm. Make that hit, but didn't do anything yet. Uh, well, I still have this cool thing that I can't do anything with. Um, you probably shouldn't stand in front of that gun. Push it with all your might. Oh my. I've got intel on our target. Oh. oh. Is that how it works? That's reload. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, let's not mess with that. How many waypoints do you get? Five? Um. Well, I just want to see what this thing can do, so go blow up over there. Eh, that's not too bad. Okay. Neat. 
Well, thank you. Eighty three percent. Three strong misses there. Oh, well, you got some of it. Can we do it again? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I think there's just a lot to Warhammer to be honest. It's it's a pretty in-depth franchise. Let's go. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Um, pull in. Keep moving up. You move up a little bit. Alright. Doors are right there. I think I'm just gonna build some flames here. All right. Put yourself on fire. That's all right. Sometimes it's okay to put yourself on fire. Where's our other medic at? Oh, you're all the way over there, Lord Emperor. You pippy, get your ass over to here and just kneel. Um, thank you, Shinji. Watch. Mm -hmm. All right, launch missile. Alright, I like having a blaster launcher on the ship, that's kind of nice. Well, yeah, immediately. Me either. <laughs> People don't have credit yet. Uh, oh. A professional that burns themselves like they should. Alright. No longer burning. I know there's one over here somewhere. What's the mission?
Oh, you're out of ammunition. Alrighty. Very interesting. few people some uh, shooty shoots mm -hmm. okay how many units is one two three four five six seven eight nine nine all right need four windows up <laughs> oh yeah all right Right, right, right. Um... over here lazy booking I think you're good where you're at I wonder if you can inspire through walls Thrower in there. Surprisingly. <laughs> Aha! That looks like a big weapon over there. Can we not get hit by it? That'd be nice. Get behind this cover here. Uh huh. That's empty over there now. Get over here. Oh yeah, Bo Martin, turn us back over here, and uh, Shinji, there we go, and get yourself a ship, Astro Boy. I think you shot at Shinji, didn't you? God, nice shot. Oh my god. Old beers with a triple 33% shot. That was legit. Alright, you pippy. I'm just gonna keep you here for the rest of the time you're in here. There. I think we're all okay out here at this point. I'm pretty sure the last one's gonna be in the ship. Z level up and you, oh you got a great point I used to do shit like that all the time with XCOM files now that you put that back into my mind oh my god how far can you arc these fucking things oh my good gravy oh they don't land if you go too high I guess <laughs> that might have been a bit of a mistake um because there's a ceiling there, but hey, you know? Oh, yes, here you are. And those pistols are quite nice. Bolters? Mm -hmm. 
Alright, 10 enemies killed. Got the Chaos Shred, Adamantium Components, Ceramite Plates, and Warp Drives again. Uh... Oh, did they? Long Range Flamer Strat? That makes sense. Looks like it would be super powerful. Lazy Booking, Coach, Coviers, R-Dub, Shinji, Yapippi, Slaves of Fear, and Astro Boy with the stat ups. Um, some corpses, some Imperial Tokens. Uh, we need to purchase some of these uh, magazines back again. And Light Bolt, we don't have that yet. Alright, nice. We need chaos and total party kills. Well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of that when it happens, 75. I mean, we already had to restart with a full party death, so... You can go back and watch that. Wait, why is this in the wrong column? Get over to the other side. Uh, do, 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 do. You know, so far, I'm really digging this. Just one. We uh, Most of today was the Codex. Uh, 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 Stubber Magazine, Stubber Tracer Magazine for... Uh, all right, there we go. Construction of prison cells complete. Excellent. Now we can actually... Get some prisoners in here. All right. Uh, I'm actually gonna use training for like my lesser. Oh my goodness. 65, thank you so much for the five gifties again. And why doesn't it ever work for you? Oh, I'm getting so annoyed for this. Thank you so much, 65. I'm so sorry my alerts are bullshit whatever Twitch did to them. But thank you so much for the five gifties. I appreciate that very much. Enjoy those subs, everyone. And thank you again, 65. What a beast. What an absolute studly beast. I may, maybe, I don't know. It's so silly. Um, but yeah, I was gonna re do training here, um, the pilots, and like, yeah, the, the non-bigger units are gonna train a bit first. Alright, um, research, we're doing regimental officers, we got manufacturing of storm- oh yeah, the stormtrooper acquisition. Actually does take quite a bit for the stormtroopers, okay. Um... Oh yeah, I'm sure it'll all get my- I mean, it's XCOM. I mean, it's Warhammer, sure, but it's also XCOM. That's- that's part of the- part of the whole experience. Um... Yeah, let's get as many ad depths as we can. I just realized I should be building a lab as well. Seems like we're going to need a lot of research. I just completely missed that aspect. However, uh, let's see what we can sell warp drives for a considerable portion. Um, mm -mm -mm, ceramite plates. Mm -hmm -hmm. Alright, let's sell, I don't know. And those and some of these, and then we can get ourselves a lab going here. Yo, yeah, well, thank you for gifting a, a sub to SA. What? Other people have subbed. Maybe it's gift subs that are broken. In period. Thank you so much, 65. Thank you so damn much. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess gift subs are just broken, but you know what I can do. Thank you, Nessie, for... Oops. I think I just replayed a, a follow thing, but that won't probably work. There we go. Thank you so much, 65. We're just gonna use that. <laughs> we'll just use that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I think both these games play into each other very, very well, honestly. XCOM is almost like a tabletop game. Um, and I've watched Warhammer, I've seen the tape measures come out, I've seen the positioning, 
and the way the models work. So I think these actually would uh, benefit each other nicely. Yeah. Uh, not enough crack missiles to rearm Valkyrie at Corm Starch. Corp Starch. Um, crack missiles, okay. Ooh. Oh, it's just a new trooper, okay. Oh, did I forget? I did forget to blow up everybody. Uh, all the way to Kalakaku, yep. Blew you up on the list. Good Ock. I believe is here? Yeah. Twitch can break, but I'm still gonna get that damn tune to play. So thank you so much, 65. I'm so sorry that they're broken. It's very silly. Alright, good luck. Get you there. Recruits, let's get you up top. Do this in order, of course. Oh, you're an ensign. Oh, look at Lazy Booking becoming an ensign. There we go. And we have two guardsmen. Oh, for, for the recruits. Okay. Neat. All right, I'm still learning a lot about the ranks and stuff, but we're getting there. Da -da, general stores is complete again. We're kind of low on money. Off-worlders attack. Alcazar Malkaudar. Whoa, 1,000 despawn penalty. Massacre site. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. It's promotion. Oh, yeah, you do have the uh, the thing down here. Award per promote scion to scion officer. Award personal shields. Officer. I don't have anybody to do it with yet, though. Um, well, this is probably going to need the Valkyrie. Simply because... Of location. But... I'm not going to take... The Tarantula Hyperios this time. It was cool, though. Um, for something like this, I think I'm going to be bringing a lot of our troopers, because it just sounds scary as hell. Oh, wait. You don't actually need pilots to pilot as well? I guess they just get better reactions or something. I mean, obviously, I should have the pilots pilot, right? <laughs> Turning your soldier into a different type. Ranks work as normal. Ah, okay. Gotcha. All right. Uh, 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 all right. Lazy booking. I mean, you're still good with what you got. Tolerant. Oh, we do have a new hell gun here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot of the big ones. We got R Dub here, Shinji, Lord Emperor Posh King, you Pippi, Bill Martin, Slaves of Fear, Good Doc. All right, Good Doc, get you your Hell Gun. Give you one of each grenade. Our officer has the smoke grenade. Um. Yeah, most of us are using our plugged-in weapons here, but honestly, they're quite powerful, so <laughs> I'm okay with it. Uh, hold on. Who's got the melee of melees here? Gudok, actually. I think you're the best melee we have already, minus our Capitaine, Commissar. All right, well, let's get you back in the carapace, then, and I'll give you a power fist. And, um... No, let's give you the chain sword. The chain sword and... An auto stubber. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. There we go. I like it, I like it. Alright, and that means we can turn Smoke and Bill into the Hellgun instead. 
Uh, yeah, I'll, oh, I'll give that a cry. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need more smokes. Just in case. Take a couple extra smokes here. Alright. Alright. What is this? Full pistol metal storm frag. There's like a ton of weapons in this. It's so neat. You got your plasma. Oh, you got an officer's a power sword. I forgot about that, slaves. Uh, I'm gonna give you an officer's chain sword instead. Now that you can hold it. Yeah, there is. It's really neat. Melee 85 with that. I don't know what the difference. Officers is... Imperium, an officer represents the iron will when kneeling. Those with great courage and influence can inspire their troops to perform great acts of heroism. Um, max range 12. Blast radius 3? What? Oh, firing accuracy is your bravery plus your rank times two squared. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I like that. So uh, rank actually does play an effect on these. I already like that. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to give it a few and then go there. Stormtrooper requisition is complete. So we got some stormtroopers. Oh, I guess we can make some of these light bolt clips and stuff. Uh, oh, we can also make advance. What do you need for this, though? Adamantium and Prometheum. We don't have Prometheum. Um, that's Gun's Power Cells. Light Bolter Clip might be good. Light f Crack and Penetrator Mag. Alright. Uh, what do you need? Oh, you need adamantium components for a lot of these. Okay. Okay. Bolt pistol clip. Light bolt pistol clip. It produces 14 units. Alright. <laughs> Crack missiles. Nice. Oh. Oh, it's gone already. Oh my god. That went fast. I'll have to be quicker next time. Damn. I don't know if I'd have made it anyway. Well, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Um, let's try some of these crack and penetrator clips as well. Add depths. Finally, we can research a little faster. <laughs> Barely. And we got another of our troopers. Excellent. This one is uh, is Fred Luck. <laughs> have you been keeping an eye on the graph screen? I have not, actually. I almost never use that. Might be a, a good thing to use in this one, right? I guess it's just... I mean, it's still the first month. But, yeah, I could see. We could actually go out on patrol and look for stuff, right? That's a good point. That's a very good point. <laughs> North Arctic, nor the Magister has a lot. I don't know where all this is at the moment. I'm assuming that's over here, maybe? Um, oh. You go even closer, you get even more things. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, all of them pressed? Hard to see though. Then uh, enemies, of man activity in areas. Enemies of man activities in sectors. Okay, so you can even break it down by sectors. McCrack sector, Rigel sector, Taurus sector. All right. Uh 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 uh. Uh 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 uh. Oh yeah, that's right. There was a map here, wasn't there? Hmm. Alright. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So we're in 
Princeps. We're next to Decemviri, Novus, and Thracian, or Thracian. And Magistia and Auriga are on the western part of the planet. Yeah, okay. So now I can actually see. Like, there's a lot to take in here, so. I am very new to Warhammer, and they are not holding back, which I love. Uh, I love that there's symbols on the ground everywhere. I'm sure they mean a lot to those who know. Taurus Sector, Zeta, Zeta Sector, Praetorian Sector, Dominica Sector, 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 Sector. There's the McCrack. Yeah, that's where the one thing landed. Okay, so that would make sense. <laughs> Let's make sure we're actually training as well. Don't want to lose any training spots. Crack and penetration clips are done being made. Light bolter clips. I'm going to make sure real quick that these are of the amount that they are saying. It is. Okay, good. <laughs> Light bolter clips already. Um, make some lasgun power cells, I guess. <laughs> Regimental officers. Officer's Power Sword, a symbol of their exemplary service to the Imperium, an Officer's Sword represents the iron will of the one wielding it. Those with great courage and influence can inspire their troops to perform great acts of heroism. Strength required is 30. It gets 1.4 times your bravery, plus 2 times your rank squared. I don't know what rank numbers are in this, but I do like it. Uh, damage bonus is... 10% of your devotion, 20% of your bravery, and 2.5 times your rank squared as well. Okay. I, I take it it doesn't have any standard damage. It's all this. Interesting. Alright. Um, we're restoring allied time units. Ah, okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Um, Choppa. Uh, 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 oh my god, there's so much here. My brain is going into... I feel like we should stick to some specifics, maybe? That'll help us a little bit here. Uh, adamantium components. Adamantium component. Uh, penitent engine. Stubborn man. Stubborn magazine. Uh, leads to ceramite plates. She can be pretty decent. 90 attack. Ah. Uh, Trader Guardsman Corpse, Taurus Drop Requisition, uh, Hotshot Volley Gun, the Laz Cannon. He's just the Craft Laz Cannon. Uh, we got Orc stuff down here, like Stick Bombs. Let's look at Stick Bombs. Convert commission to promotion. Accept regimental commissions. Accept regimental commissions. All right. And um, what was the other one? Do, 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 metal storm frag. Uh, 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 and light bolt pistol. Standard bolt clip. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Regimental commissions. Okay, what is regimental commissions? Like, what is that? Um. I guess it's just an item to use. At the guard. I am Roush. I am quite enjoying this so far. Okay. Just a lot to take in. Like, a lot. Those <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. power cells are finished. That is finished. Commissar requisition. Oh, yeah, right. We do want another commissar, don't we? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Large radar dish is already in. 
So once I can connect the rest of the space, I can get rid of that. I don't know why I did it that way. <laughs> um, research completed. Stick bombs. This is an anti-infantry fragmentation grenade commonly utilized by orc forces. Orc grenades are much bigger and heftier than those used by the other intelligent races, which makes good sense to an orc because the bigger something is, the more dangerous it will be. <laughs> Alright, um... Uh, the Emperor protects, so that's beginner mode option. Light melt to ammo. Unlocked by Protestus Combi Bolter. Crack stick bomb. Uh, hmm. You sure? Request additional Arbitus support, request additional Guard support, Adeptus support, Astartus support, Pen Penal Squad, PDF Squad, Judges, Veterans, Ogrins, Stormtroopers, Psychers, Fratterus, Militia Veterans, Sister. So I take it it just gives you like every unit available, right? <laughs> that was just something he could do. <laughs> I don't know about this yet. Yeah, it gives you a lot more options, right? Like, it gives you a ton of stuff that you could just start with. Um, we'll think about that. We'll think about that. Um, Chaos Ripper Gun, Chaos Hotshot Cell, Hologram Caster Requisition. Okay. Radical Recruitments. We can recruit... Oh my god. We can recruit, like, everyone here. I'm gonna do that. Yerk is special. I can do a lot of horse pucky because the orcs think he can, yeah. I love that. It's just a complete belief system. It's so... it's so great. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, Commissar Requisition takes a lot of available units. Uh, which we do have, actually. Uh, we, could, we have another Commissar now. Um, we got a lot of clips that we made. Now, what doesn't take material and I can make? Nope. Um... No, okay. I'm gonna let you. It like kills any orc it hits. Orc power claw half the size of him. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Uh. He was only a look, so the crazy son of a bitch had one of his eyeballs replaced with a hotshot las pistol. Oh my god, that's great! Oh, there are orc weapons, and even recruit Eldar seers. Yeah, these are things I don't know about, but I'm going to learn so much. Um, do 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 do. All right, I think we got another of our. Oh, our second Commissar has come. All right. Ark of Death. It's a very fitting name for a Commissar. Is he? That's so cool. Ark of Death. Welcome, Commissar. Mm -hmm. do -do 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 oh, wait, hold on here. We're supposed to be looking at grass, right? Um... Imperium activity in areas, Imperium activity in sectors, income, finite, oop. That's called Magar, Shoch, Prophet of the Loch. Uh, let's check out here, I guess. Um... I don't think there's really a, uh... Seems like a lot of shit is going over here. 
We already lost a thousand points this month, so I assume we're going to do terribly. <laughs> Radical recruitment. Commander, the God Emperor will not appreciate that you are willing to recruit from the forces of the enemies. But if you decide that current circumstances warrant such an action, we will try to fit them with explosive collars and force them into your battle lines. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Okay. Light bolters low tier. Uh, Battle Servitor Corpse, Hologram Caster, Requisition. Let's do Light Bolters, Low Tier. Okay. Recruit Trader Officer, Recruit Slongor Beastman, Recruit Chaos Sister, Recruit. Oh my god. Coordinate Sister, Chaos Sister, Cultist Leader, Cultist Psyker, Corngore Beastman, Slanish Sister, Coordinate Sister, Cultist Heavy, Knight Sister Sniper, Hospitaller. Cleanse Hospitaller, Recruit Deceived Novice, Cultist, Corn Sister, Heretical Hospitaller, uh, Nurgle Leader, Corn rich, uh, Retributor, uh, Sister of Filth, Deceived Cantus, Corn Peaceman, Corn Sister, Twisted Sister, Corn uh, Restore, Twisted Sister, Recruit Corn Sister, Recruit Heretical Sister Superior, Zongor Beastman, Heretical Seraphim, Heretical Adeptus, or Two heretical adepts, I guess. Uh, recruit cultist squad and medic. Salon Ongor Beastman. Salon Bregor Beastman. Cultist scout. Knight sister. Knight sister superior. Unsanctioned psyker. Recruit zealot. Recruit trader. Ogren. Ooh. Uh, induct penal legionnaire. Recruit trader. Heavy guardsman. Cleanse plague. Ogren. Recruit trader. Squat. Recruit zinc. Cultist stormtrooper. Uh, turn her heretical. Ogren. Recruit Dark Disciple, Traitor Squat, Nurgle Colonist, Penal Legionnaire, times two. Recruit Traitor Leader, Nurgle Cultist, times two. Recruit Traitor Scout, Guardsman, Nurgle Cultist, Traitor Officer, Induct Penal Legionnaire, Recruit Traitor Guardsman, times two. Recruit Traitor Scout, Guardsman, Traitor Heavy Guardsman, Induct Penal Legionnaire, Recruit Chaos Pen uh, Penitente, Bind Acolyte Psyker, and recruit trader commando guardsman. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Still, neat option. We can have an ogren early on, right? All right, 368 is a good rating. Income of 6.89 million to plus 299,000. Maintenance of 2.9 mil. Our current balance is 3.7 mil. Most of the planet's allied sectors are uh, sectors are pleased with our intervention. Forward sector, idle sector, dis sector, Pretoria sector, and Gavin sector, Norma sector, and Orion sector are particularly pleased. All right. Oz had his head chopped off in a fight, and one of his underlings just attached it to a giant mech suit, and he's alive. <laughs> I love the orcs. Yeah, I was looking forward to recruiting a hundred nerglings, yeah. Battle tested for Coach, Kovirs, R-Dub, Shinji, and Astro Boy. Soldiers with the basic level of real combat experience this is a requisite for Imperial Guard officer promotions. This combination of soldier needs to take part in at least three missions serve for one month and achieve at least one kill. Alright. I can award... I can promote Cyan to Cyan Officer. Or I can award Personal Shield to Ark of Death, which of course I will. Uh, and promote Cyan to Officer. What's this do for you? Probably gives you an ability. We have Coach, Kovirs, R-Dub, and Shinji. Um, uh, we'll do R-Dub, and I think I'm gonna do Coach. We'll get the rest when we got more Imperial Tokens. Um, but now you are a... A Tempester Prime? Is that what it says? Yeah, Tempester Prime. Um... So maybe you got different abilities now. Let's get you on the bottom. Next to the commissars. Alright. Neat. 
Um. Oh, oh, we can give them personal shields now. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. You could just make them a Tempester? What? What does that do, though? I don't know what that means. Hmm. Is it better? These are two different Tempesters as well. I see bravery and firing accuracy go up. Hmm. But I don't know what that specifically means. We can mostly raise their rank from morale officer sword. Per oh, okay. I don't know what the difference between these two is. Oh, you can't do it. <laughs> can't do it yet. Okay. Coach. Oh, you're one of many Tempester Primes. I'll give you that one, I guess, because it looks neat. Um, that's cool. Okay, so now we have Troopers, uh, Tempestors, and Tempestor Primes. Alright, there we go. Alright. Guardsmen, they can become Sergeants. Which is awesome. Okay. Neat. Learning something new all the time. There's so much to this already. We'll get used to it, but it's a lot. Second Lieutenant Lazy Booking. Let's go. Hmm. Bum ba dum. That's really cool. All right, uh, sergeant's down there. All right. Crafts. Everything went down. I think it was that mission that caused a, a whole lot of hubbub in the bub bub, if you know what I mean. Da -da -da -da. I also like the world's different. It's like playing a brand new XCOM almost just because of that. There's so much here. All right, living quarters is done, part two. So we have plenty of soldier space and space for whatever. Speaking of, um, our lab is going to take another 12 days, and then I'm probably going to purchase a fuck ton more of that. We could also purchase some more servitors uh, for manufacturing purposes, but right now I don't think we're... Yeah. We're going to do too much there. Um... What haven't we made? This one? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Light bolters, low tier. Uh, Perin uh, Perinetus Pattern Solo Mark II is unsophisticated and lacks the capability for auto fire, allowing it only single shot fire mode. This is made up by the weapon's range accuracy and reliability in adverse conditions. This pattern of bolter is intended to be used by normal humans and is sized accordingly. Okay. Neat. I like that it actually does some decent damage, it seems. Mm 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 mm. Um, let's get the melt again. This be a nice one. Short light solo bolter mag now, also available. Light bolter belt, short light solo bolter mag, light bolter solo pattern, light bolter shortened solo. All right. Um. Yeah, where are bolter? Oh, there they are. <laughs> right, 85, 21 time unit, 25. What is the difference? Oh, the accuracy on the bottom one is a little bit better. 
Maybe the range as well. The snapshot, 14. Snapshot, 11. Okay, so yeah. Um, they seem to be somewhat pricey, but... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll take... It's 5% of the accuracy, so I'll take these ones. Buy a couple of them. Uh, I th plate Ultra Belt. Uh, buy ten of those in short light bolt or solo mag. Sure. Um, we should probably build another base on the other side to get us started. Um, again, so we can cover a good amount. What is our coverage now? It's pretty damn far, right? So, um, if we go like right. Here, we should be able to do one here. Um, hey, Azure. It's been doing great today, thank you. How are you doing? Not so much aliens, I guess, this time. I guess, kind of, but... Yo, sir, thank you so much for the content you support. I appreciate it so very much. Thank you, Azur. Thank you so much. Um... Let's see here. <laughs> we'll call this the... Uh, we'll call this Nurgle Gurgle. There we go. Okay, we can put this on the surface. I do want to try that. I haven't d built the surface one yet. And then we can have Holy Imperial Dirt here for some reason. Um... Probably a bad idea to do this all the way over there. Oh, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Yeah, because this gives you negative, like... This gives you money. That's right. Oh my god, that thing is huge! Ah, uh, I see, I see. Come yonder, yeah. Um. Oh my dear Christ. These are fucking massive. Alright, alright. I should probably make this towards another base. What if I dismantle that? Um, and then try that over here. A bit closer. To us. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that, or I can actually do a below down, but I, I really want to try an, uh, an up base somewhat near us over here. Uh, so let's do this. And we'll also call this the Gurgle Nurgle. Oh, wait, Nurgle Gurgle, not Gurgle Nurgle. Okay, now that I know the access outpost is kind of in the way, um, Uh, put it here. Um, trading station, I do like that. That gives us mad cash, so I can't really do a trading station and a trading camp. I want to do trading camp first. Um... Jesus, these are so pricey and big. Plasma generators go out here. Oh, but they give you mad cash. That's right. Um, a minefield. That's also right. You could just lay minefields out here. Emplacements. Probably a good idea to have some emplacements around here. And also, holy imperial dirt. I don't really know what the point of this is. Um, but it's free, so I guess I'll just fill it up. Uh, with that at the end. Um... Alright, I'm gonna put in a placement there. Uh, 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 um... We'll have a training camp over here for many people of the future. I'm gonna make a minefield uh, right there. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Can't make any more yet, except this goes up top. Go make a plasma generator. All right. Uh, Arbitus communication restored. Communication after recent disruptions with the local Arbitus and the PDF network is now back in full operation. The Arbitus magistrates assures us that everything is back to normal and that they will redouble their efforts to maintain order. I'm sure what an empty space looks like on a base. Is so oh. It would just be like empty spots. <laughs> all right, light bolter solo pattern, light bolter belt, short light solo. Oh, we got all that stuff. All right. A medium oversee to the east. Take it out. Ow. Oh. Trap. They take a long time to pay them. So that's true. If you think about it, it costs a million, and they give you, what, 300 So it takes four months to get your money back out of them. But at that point, you are making a profit. It survives that long. It's an investment, basically. <laughs> Let's check the, the graphs here. Uh, blue. South. South has some shit going on. Um... <laughs> Health Magister, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. Health Magister. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Eventually, I'll figure out this map. Uh, uh, Nurgle Gurgle. Uh, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Guard outpost, guard outpost. Interesting. Hey, Los Angeles. <laughs> All right. Did. Did, did. Money just from the monthly stuff. True. Uh, da, da, right. <laughs> Very small in the upper atmosphere. All right. Let's send the the lightning. Wait, lightning doesn't have a pilot. Some Wes, you are the pilot of this craft. Craft 5 is on an intercept course for lightning. Uh oh. This is a... Oh god, I hope you kill it. Alright, there we go. Plus one reaction for Some Wes, very nice. <laughs> upper, very small in the upper atmosphere again. Is this the same thing? Yes. There we go. Space Hulk detected. Uh oh. Space Hulk. Groovy. <laughs> oh, let's hope so. Um, yeah, I actually like. I, uh, the other one disappeared so fast. I want to take the more people, but I don't think I have the ability to take the more people. Um. It's unfortunate. Alright, now we have tons of extra weaponry here now. I don't think I have it on board yet, though. Oh, we still have two people open here. Okay. Aircraft is heading for it. Ah. Good to know, good to know. Then we could probably use this, since there are more people here. 
Um... Unfortunately, we're gonna go with our best peeps again because this mission scares me a little bit. Uh, uh, mm, get rid of it all. Put it all on board. Mm -hmm. I have to do the switches for now until I get a better idea. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Oopsie. Uh, 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 oh, uh, 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 uh. All right. All right, you got some serious, we got some serious firepower down here now. Some serious firepower. Uh, uh, we got light bolters here. Okay. Oh, the belt. Okay. Let's go into this. Um. It's always wild. Uh, it's all the new stuff. D D D D. We do have two more hell guns here if we want it. That's a bit pricey. Uh, for strength wise, the auto subber. Uh, all right, let's give you the uh, the light bolter solo pattern. This a try. Uh, I don't think that's the right ammo for this. Uh, this is. All right, uh, Kovir's Fred Luck. Do we have any other medics here? No. Nope. You can be a medic for free, actually. Doesn't make any difference except for your reactions. Alright, Fred Luck. Got 30 strength. Uh, da da. De 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 de. Mm-hmm. Bolt pistol clips. That's what this takes, right? Yeah, alright. You take that then. A couple of smokes. Um Shinji. Uh let's see. Probably not gonna do much with that, but it's nice to have you with some long range stuff. Oh, an auto stone? Okay. But you can't put tracer rounds in it. Uh, you pippy, uh, with the heavy stubber uh, as well. And we'll be back flaming it up. Fear quote. Uh, quote. That's a pretty heavy, heavy missile launcher, I'd say. This one is also heavy. Um, uh, but I feel like maybe it'd be worth it to take take some uh, missiles here, especially some crack missiles. Oh, coach, you're just gonna have to take your time through with the level, I guess. Our dib with the flame also has some more missiles for them. The Astro Boy with the smoke and the hope. Yeah, I realized I could just hold this and see how much damage they can do probably be a good idea to uh, check that out. I don't know what that is. Um, crack grenade can do a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't have anybody of exceptional strength yet. Username does have good strength, I will say that. But not quite there yet. Alright, um... You got a lot of uh, stuff, a lot of grenades, lots of stuff. Mission deployment. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Oof! 
And that's where we're going to stop for today. Let's take a look at our fallen heroes here. The last free runner, Connie Dragon and Dusty Scarab. Our three deaths. Dusty Scarab died to a Chaos Battle Servitor. Chaos Servitor Heavy Bolter. Connie died to a Chaos Missile Servitor. Chaos Servitor Rocket Pod. And last free runner died to a Special Flash Gets Assault Stubber. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Oh, man. All right. This has been a hell of a learning experience and a lot. My brain kind of needs to sit and let all of it kind of... Old. There's an old speedrunning thing I used to do where I'd learn a bunch of stuff in a day, but then I would stop a little earlier to kind of let it simmer into the uh, mental juices to that way we can, we can kind of... Uh, keep some of the information we took here today. No problem, Surrealistic, just to let you all know. Um, there may be new around here. I stream every single day. I have not missed a day in over half of a year. Uh, I, str I start streaming uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific Time U.S., so 11 to 12 uh, Pacific or 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern U.S. Time. I figure that's the easiest way to get it out there to anybody across each side of the ocean. Uh, so add a few hours or subtract a few hours, wherever you may be. Um, YouTubers. I know we switched it up a little bit, but uh, but we're we switching over to Warhammer 40k because the last mod was just a little bit too on the... Uh, and a little bit too on the uncomfortable side for me, to be entirely honest, so... We're trying the 40k uh, overall XCOM uh, haulover with the Rosigma submod in, which I will all have it on the list as well. Available to anybody who also wants to join or play along once I get all that through. Also, everybody's stats will be uploaded as well uh, once I can help out uh, Einderspell. Oh, there, actually. Einderspell, what's up? You did miss the start. And we're actually coming to an end pretty early here today, but there was so much in this mod that I kind of have to let my brain uh, like, let it register a little bit. Um, Einder Spell is the reason that we have an automated updated stat list uh, ever after every stream, because they're a genius. Alrighty, YouTubers, thank you so much for watching again. You know the time, you know the place. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that very, very much. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a wonderful night.